Welcome to part number 41 of Gran Turismo 5 Beast Spec. This is the movie Chicane, and once again today, doing another endurance race. And as usual, I have my usual Mikhail 24rd on the stream. What's up, man? Yo, what's up? Fresh from. So. Ah. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Fresh from Irwindale. Irwindale Speedway. Oh, yeah. The final fight. Well, they always say final fight. Be spec. <laughs> well, today we're doing the Indianapolis 500, and because there's no Indy cars, well, we gotta use LMP cars to do this race. I could use a Formula Gran Turismo, but that's overkill. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just roll the dice here. And I'm gonna do this only once in my entire playthrough of Gran Turismo 5. I'm gonna use a repeat car, and that's the Toyota 7 race car. Why? Because it's the only other open cockpit race car in the entire game that's not an LMP. It's a Can-Am car, and it's fast as hell. So that kind of qualifies it, I guess, for the race. And it breaks up the monotony, so there you go. It looks beautiful. It is beautiful. So for the race, we're going to have Alonzo, Vargas, Fernandez, and Rossi take the wheel. Because it's maximum of four drivers. And it's the Indy 500, even though we're using LMP cars. Logic. <laughs> I'm kind yeah. of kinda pissed off just looking at it right now. Well, you can't really blame Polyphony. At least they gave us the Indy 500. True, they didn't have it. They didn't add it to the. What's that? The. What's that in GT Sports called now? I don't know what it's called now. GT League. Yeah, they need to put that in. Okay, so in terms of actual current Indy 500 drivers, it would make sense if we have Rossi start the race because he can make moves on the outside in real life, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume he could do the same here, even though he's driving not an Indy car, but a Toyota 7. Also, why do you have Lonzo on the grid? Because he drove in the Indy 500 last year. But he Vargas But he blew up though. Well let him blow up the engine. That's that's okay. Fernandez has Indy 500 experience and he's a cart runner up and then Vargas, well he's an American driver. The other two aren't American. So just He's like the closest <laughs> Yeah, he's 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 basically the closest thing to an Indy car driver. In terms of not being an Indy car driver, I guess. Even though he's a freaking NASCAR K and N driver. But anyways, let's begin. Hey Robert, welcome to the stream. How's it going? And here we go, our two by two, not three by three, unfortunately. God dang green it. Green flag. The 150th Indy 500 is green. Yeah, I'm way behind, so... Sorry for the late reactions. Let's see what happens. Ah, don't though. worry. Don't, don't worry about it. Ooh, Rossi with an inside move. Two cars, alright. Nice. I knew Rossi was the right guy to choose for the start of the race. Oh yeah, that's actually really, really good. Good move. Looks like he's eating like LMP once for breakfast. <laughs> well, he is driving a band in very dangerous Can Am car. Wait. With a knife between his teeth. I mean, what is the difference between the Can Ams that we have, like, you know, back then to the LMP ones? Of, you, you know, know to be honest. Up to date. To be honest, I, I don't really know. I don't follow. I, I never really followed Can Am in terms of, like, doing research online or watching videos. I only, the only time I've ever seen Can-Am cars on person or on the internet or anything is two places. Number one, Gran Turismo with the Toyota 7 and the Chaparral 2J. And number two, uh, the historic Can-Am race of the Long Beach Grand Prix one year. Yet they don't have the Toyota 7, god damn it. Well, it was banned. Oh, really? Yeah, the Toyota 7 was banned. I think it was either, it was either like a cheating car or it was too dangerous. One of the two, probably both. I wonder, what was the Toyota and like being banned? Like they got banned in rallying or cheating, but still, like in back in the 1990s. But yeah, yeah, I mean they were just really good at making OP cars. <laughs> I mean this is why we had that whole Toyota che them cheating Toyotas meme for NASCAR, because they seem to be good in everywhere they want. <laughs> All right, it's like midnight here, but I just got to see the start. I'll probably see this in the future. All right, cool. You'll see this in like January, I think, <laughs> well, from the way that we've been uploading videos. Because I'm in the middle of uploading. Hey, future stuff, by the way. <laughs> well, hello to you too, future Club King. Wow, that Toyota Seven is moving. Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, Rossi's not moving as much as I initially thought he would, but I mean, patience. Here's the thing, though. 
because of the amount of downforce that Rossi has on his Toyota 7, once he's out of the draft, he's going to be a sitting duck. But hopefully, hopefully, we could probably do some strategy maybe and like keep him out maybe for an extra lap or two. Who knows? Show the barn people who's boss. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like right now, like, like if this is happening right now in real life, people would have been shamed by like Audi and, you know, Peugeot, if that was the <laughs> case. Well, technically, Peugeot, uh, Peugeot actually raced in the Indy 500 before. Yeah, that's why they had that, like, Peugeot, like, vision car just to celebrate their time there, I guess. Wait, was that the reason why they made it? Probably. He said LC 500. Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably could be. I don't know. I don't know. They raced there, like, 100 years ago, I think. It was, like, the, the, literally, like, the first couple of years of the race itself. Yeah. Anyway. But anyways, so you went to Irwindale this, um, yesterday, actually, for the Formula Drift finale. How was it? It was pretty good. Um, quite overwhelming compared to, say, the um, Long Beach round uh, a couple of months ago. Oh, really? Yeah, it's way different. Like, I don't know. It's probably how, like, enclosed it is. You can see everything. I actually sit in the middle of the grandstand. So I can just see everything. The start starting to drift on the first turn the switch back turn again and you know all that good stuff it was pretty great yeah yeah man our window is really good when it comes to like well it's a, this is a short oval even for like the stock car stuff you literally can see everything like the entire track is at your disposal for viewing whereas long beach you know you you have to really decide what you want to sacrifice usually when i go to long beach it's turns 9 10 9, 10, and 11 for the Formula Drift track, for those who don't know, for the Long Beach Circuit. And wherever you sit, you have to sacrifice one corner. Usually, I like to sacrifice turn 9, because I think 10 and 11 provide much better. Yeah, I agree. Like, that, know, that's what I did, too. I always go for the turn 10 area, at least. So I can see turn 10, and then they go to turn 11. Hey, what's up, Fernando? Um, yes, I actually put the wing all the way in. And I, I know about um, aerodynamics having no f effective fuel consumption in this game. You literally have to put the downforce all the way, you know, all the way to the highest amount because the AI will not make any moves unless they have a bunch of downforce, and then they will literally think they're invincible. <laughs> invisible, huh? That's kind of the strategy that I have with this damn car. Um, but yeah. So far, so far it's just been a scrap between. The one Toyota in the field and the Audis <laughs> and one Pojo. Way better than um I don't know. I don't think we have a really bad race this weekend to begin with. Ah, uh, late night stream sub Rishi. <laughs> Rishi well, well, I have the ability to stream right now only for a few more hours before all of my family comes home. Oh wait. And when they do, it's no more weekend streams for me. Oh, so I'm rip. taking advantage of this. Yeah, that's why I'm taking advantage of this as much as I can. That's why I'm doing like late night streams. That's why this whole weekend I've been streaming a lot. I'm like, dude, this is the only chance I have until I finally move out, whenever that is. What are these voices? Oh, it's just me. Yeah, the one guy who's part of ESTRL but has not turned a single lap in competition yet. Yeah, because reasons. I mean, I'm pretty busy with a lot of stuff. Sorry about that. But I do, I still do well with these group two cars, so I just don't have time. Apparently, what is you should try to at least, you should at least try to make a Suzuki round. I like, will. Like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna make a Suzuki round. I don't really race a whole lot. Holy shit, these guys are really dicing right now. As long as you slicing and dicing. How about this? If you race, I race. How about that? Well, I'm racing regardless because I kind of promised that I would at least do the finale. Uh, when is that, by the way? I have to check the schedule. Check on the Discord for ACRL. You'll, you'll find it there. I'll probably just do one race, and if I don't have enough time and I still want to race, I'll probably just like, start and park. Maybe. I don't know. I'll try. <laughs> start and park. I mean, if I have enough pace and I still don't have time, I'll just, you know, at least prove that I have the pace. Something. Right. No, but anyways, um, going back to about Irwindale. Yeah, dude. Basically, like, it's a really good track for viewing drifting and stock car racing and all that stuff and like 
let me ask you a question. How was the crowd? Um, crowd's fine. In terms, crowd was fine. In terms of behavior. Um, it's fine, really. Like, we just, like, hang around, joke around. Um, the one funny part that what happened is that I... Remember I told you I brought a tire? <laughs> hang on. Rishi says, so I still haven't narrowed down who you are. Give him more clues. God damn it. But, um... What happens I brought a tire from Mido, and I got signed by Von Gidden. Oh, sick. And I ended up bringing up the tire to this trance dance. And what happens is that we ha we cannot have like one person sit down because the tire was there, so we did that they moved me out at least in the outside so I could hold on to it. Yeah. And it was fine because I was like, you know what, I was like feeling really bad for them, so I realized, oh, I will help you out you guys out and so we just moved the tire and we just moved the seats. Even though it's signed seats, we kinda of help each other on that. So everyone got the seat and I get to like have the tire stay in there, like in the outside. So not too bad. I mean, I didn't even. See, yeah, that's not bad. I mean, I didn't see any fights. I mean, you said that one fight in the barbecue, and I haven't seen shit. Oh, dude, there was a dude. There was a big brawl there. Like, okay, so you know, behind the grandstands, you know how there's like a barbecue. There's a, there's a whole bunch of like, not food trucks or anything, but like food, like tents. Like, there's a barbecue stand. There's like a shaved ice stand. There's like. Um, what else? There's a funnel cake stand. There's like a Mexican food stand right there The whole there was like big lines. There. There's always big lines there, especially for formula drift and The whole line was cleared because it turned into a massive brawl Really? Ooh, yeah, dude, it was so funny would, because all the who all the, the people who the, what? who the hell fights in the goddamn line for food? We're not in I don't know if it <sighs> You're <laughs> well, you're officially chicane B fine you can be. It is. I'm, making, All right, I'm, so, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll beat you in the Suzuka race if you're going to call me that. Fine. <laughs> yeah, so that means you're going to run out of fuel just like I do in ESGRL. How the hell are you not check fuel? <laughs> well, because I miscalculated. Okay. Anyways, what do you say about the whole fight thing? Oh. In terms of. Uh, here you go. I think the Audi might have a little bit more fuel than we do. Um. Fernando. Jesus Christ, anyway, um, stop eating the goddamn LP cars. We have to pretty much do this. I'm sure four laps of fuel is enough for five. <laughs> but, um, no, yeah. Basically, I miscalculated how much fuel I had, and I ended up running out at the very end while fighting for a podium against Rishi. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'm probably not gonna get out of fuel. I'm just gonna make Rishi my, um. Just get him out of the way. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything bad, don't worry. I mean, he's right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I did um, barrels. Um, I think it's one. Oh, you never have a chance to podium. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> no, fuck <okay>. you. <laughs> you. <laughs> At least I got on the urn, though, not you. Excuse me. This is a Christian stream, sir. We don't cuss here. Stop your fucking cussing, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, at least I got an herb though, so who cares? Anyways. I forgot how the enduro system worked. No, yeah. They, I doubt they were fighting over food, dude. I'm pretty sure they weren't fighting over food. They just so happened to be in front of the barbecue pits. And they decided to swing, because why not? Yeah, dude. They were fighting like rock and sock and robots. It was so <laughs> goddamn funny. I need to check out. It was so goddamn funny. I need, funny, to, I need to check out on Instagram right now. It's called Formula Derp, right? The yeah, Formula. It was Formula Derp's um, Instagram page that posted it. Uh, Formula Derp. I'm gonna watch that right now, just for the funsies. All right, Formula Derp Instagram. Hopefully, I like their um, content. It's really funny. Yeah, but I mean, in terms of, <laughs> he said Nani because I think um, yeah, Rossi actually drifted the free inside of seven. Um, in terms of, hey, what's up, UFC? In terms of um, like parody and like like funny like journalism content, I prefer WTF1 over Formula Derp. But then again, I mean WTF1 has more resources than yeah. Formula Derp does, so uh, it's kind of like I just like their description. The, pre the premier more sports series for mentally unstable alpha males. Holy <laughs> shit! Well, Formula Drift crowds are super rowdy. That's why I asked you about Irwin Doe, dude, because the year that I went, which was 2015. They literally were just like, dude, there was fights all over the grandstands. Like, 
I think guys, girls, old people, like <laughs> old people. <laughs> more like people in their forties. I can say into the pits. We must go e i e i o. <laughs> I think you're saying that the uh, you're saying that like old grandpa over here is just like swinging. I wouldn't quite say old grandpa. Oh, we have back marker. Well, who is it? It's a Pescarolo. Yes, thank you, Pescarolo. <laughs> Rossi took the lead from the Audis, or actually second from the Audis. Nice. But um, I'm going to watch the video right now, see what happens. Hopefully, I'm going to enjoy this fight. This is a live reaction, by the way, if anyone noticed. Because I honestly didn't know the fight even existed. Are you watching it right now? Yeah, I'm going to right now. Alright, I'll, I'll shut up and just let you watch the fight then. Hey, thanks, 60 FPS. Oh my god, alpha males everywhere. Holy shit. Why is the one? That's what the one guy said. <laughs> yeah. What are these guys doing? <laughs> oh, here's. I'm just gonna read the comments. Um, is some people said these are people kind of people are still into cars and poor shit. That's one comment. And another comment says find like a bunch of schoolgirls. Oh my god. Oh wait, 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 so about that DSP video, how I use branches! <laughs> no, dude, I don't, I, dude. I just do not know why they're fighting though, like, what's the point? <laughs> this game is so fucking stupid! Oh, oh my god, hey UFC, do you want to join in on the call? You're more than welcome to if you'd like to. I'm We're just shooting the shit right now. I wouldn't mind if it's called the shit, uh, shit post alpha 500. Uh, in UFC, my favorite, uh, this is how you don't play, is the set, the GTA San Andreas one, because every five minutes, it's just the SP going, What? How, how did I fucking die? <laughs> like, no, well, dude, just imagine, you only had just you only had two bullets in your AK, and you expect to take down a group of ten guys. This is, just imagine if he plays on GT Sport. Oh my god, imagine if. I would just, like, if I ever see him on the grid, I would just say, yep, he's a cunt. <laughs> and, if he, All right, and, if he, and if he ever takes me out, I'm definitely gonna report his ass. That's what's fucked up. <laughs> Dude, freaking Blizzard fan do anything about it. <laughs> they never take the report seriously. I still race with the same records all the time, which is why I'm giving that damn game a break. Alright. Gotta wait for the veteran. Yep, the veteran of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. I hadn't even talked about the UFC, um, like, battle fight they had after the fight. That was dumb. <laughs> You're a dummy, one sec. No worries, dude. I'm just still wearing my douchey hat. Dude, this is a good, like, four-car battle for the lead. Serious shit right now, man. Like, look. We have one Pescarello, two Audis, and a Toyota 7. Like... We have cars from the 2000s versus one Can-Am boy from the 70s <laughs> holding his own ground. Are you basically the uh, Takumi Fujiwara of GT5? Uh, because that uh, pretty much is. Uh, I don't know who that is, sir. No, because uh, initially... Uh, I, I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> pretty, I, I guess so. Because, <laughs> you know, Toy old Toyota versus modern, um, you know. Sorry, UFC, that was your only chance. Oh. Hey, Bellator veteran, okay. what's up? Hold on. Can't hear you, but I will do it in a second. There we go. <laughs> what's up, man? Yo, Hello, what's up? I'm good. It's uh, 5:33 in the morning, so no shouting. But you know that's how it is. Nah, you're gonna so, be shouting later on. I can guarantee. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Hey, right now it's 9:33 where I'm at. So mm. Yeah, also luckily I have the house to myself. Fortunately, so I can shout as much as I want. It's also 9:34 now. Mm. Because, oh yeah. You know. If only I was actually ahead of time, I'd give you the lottery numbers, but sadly that isn't possible. <laughs> um, so, so, I haven't talked about, like, what, well, we know the crowds at Orndo sometimes get crazy, but at least it's not for grandstands, so we're all good. Yeah, so, what I wanted to tell you was, 2015, there was a bunch of fights. Like, if one fight I specifically remember was, it was these two couples. I never thought somebody streaming the Beast Maker would be good, but you guys proved me wrong. Ooh. Oh, well, 60 FPS. I appreciate that, man. Thanks. Yeah, Eric, uh, on behalf of uh, Chicane, thanks for subscribing. That's weird to say in person with all three of us here, but you know what? I think that went off without a hitch. Yeah, I mean, you're you're cool. Um, 
I really enjoyed all the extremes. By the way, this, yeah. this is not the end of the stream, so we're gonna keep going. Anyways, you ha uh, you're, um, <laughs> you're this right is so awkward, cool, but I love it. <laughs> anyway, I know that fight I know we're not we're not professionals. So we, we haven't planned any of this out. But anyway, so yeah, um, two couples. I don't know what they're arguing about. Most likely seats, because the problem with fucking Irwin Dale is this: they had assigned seats. When, wait, wait, exactly. They only use assigned seats for that weekend. So whenever the employees have to deal with assigned seating, they don't know how to deal with it. But therefore, the because the employees. Um, the employees, all they do is deal with either Night of Destruction or the NASCAR stuff, which is just general emission everything. So the only thing they have to watch out for is like people who are smoking, people who are being rowdy, etc., etc. Now they have to deal with people with seating, and they don't know how to handle that situation. So yeah. they have all the people yes. just having this big problem. Did you have a problem with seating too? Uh, no. Um, what the problem is though is that security didn't even know where we're going to point at. They're pointing at say, Section Four, even though I'm supposed to go to Section Five. One of the Audis is pitting, by the way. Um, assigned seats for what? For Irwindale Speedway, Rishi? For the Formula Drift competition for the finale yesterday? Last night. Um, well, yeah. So, yeah. I could actually correct the, that. The assigned seats is absolutely stupid. They shouldn't do that. Ooh, we got another back marker. Audi R10. Um, so, yeah. Basically, when D1 GP used to go to Irwindale, like, it was like one year, a buddy of mine was telling me that it was amazing because you paid, what, like, 50 or 60 bucks for the ticket and everything was general admission. It was an expensive general admission seat, but there was no problems. Once FD came to town and did assigned seating, it became a problem and it's a problem every single year. So that year, basically you had these two couples arguing, most likely over seating. And this one lady, this one lady, this one girl was just like, oh, fuck you up, bitch, I'm gonna fuck you up. And like, she's like waving her hands over <laughs> the other girl's face with her, I dude, with her iPhone in her hand. And so the other girl snatches her iPhone, bro, and throws it on the track when the cars are driving by. <laughs> and they all just start, they all just start duking it, dude. <laughs> America is a violent place sometimes. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. Uh, you're not wrong about that, my friend. I'm surprised I didn't get punched because of my tires on the way. Oh, yeah, because you're blocking seats, huh? Yeah, because I'm a cunt. I'm just, I once I'm, went I'm to... Just, speaking of seating... Kidding, sorry to interrupt, but speaking of seating, I once went to a UFC event in 2014, first one I've ever been to, and I got decent seats near the front. The uh, thing is, though, there was this, we'll say, large-sized man in front of me, and he was, like, <laughs> taking up two seats, couldn't see shit when you were standing, <laughs> you were sitting down, and you could smell him from, I don't know, Venus. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. It was. It was. Yeah, I had to uh, stand up and look at the screen a lot. But in all, in, in, in all honesty, you know, it was a fun event. It was all about the experience. It wasn't too bad, you know. You, Press that you, for you, the veteran here. You dealt with it, you know. <laughs> Although it was kind of difficult to see sometimes. It, uh, yeah. Wish I would have brought stilts, but hey. <laughs> stilts. <laughs> it is what it is. Well, really, I just didn't really have a problem with the scene. I just need to move to the tire, but that's it. It wasn't too bad. You know, that's a surprise, though. That's like a first, to be honest, because every single year, I meet somebody who goes to Irwindale, and they always have that same problem, where it's seating causes fights uh, in the stands. I was probably because I was being so nice, and I'm like, you know what, okay, fine, I'll move to the seat. Probably because I'm more calm. And I was like, yeah. fine, yeah. What's the deal? Like, I can't really fight over seats. Like, if it's just my fault, it's my fault. Fine. No, definitely. I mean, yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good, like, way to think about it, for sure, dude. And also, um, and also this is my first time, so I might as well have fun, more fun with it. Right, so how did you like the track? It's pretty good. I actually liked it. I think, that's, I think it's probably one of my favorite tracks ever, and, like, more than Long Beach. It, because of how the way it's settled, because it's just pure high-speed drifting. Right. Oh yeah. Insert. Go ahead. UFC. Sorry. I think I wanted to drive a long beach in grid, and I was terrible with it. Therefore, I uh, I don't have much of an opinion on that track. But I tried driving it in grid when I was I think I was nine years old, and I crashed everywhere. So in my in my <laughs> in my well in my mind, I don't I'm not very good at it. I don't know what also, I'm saying. Also, here's here's the problem though. Grid has a way different. Oh yeah. Way different long beach track than where it was here. If I ramble for no reason with no coherent thoughts, it's because it's 5.39 in the morning, so... It's okay, it's fine. But you know what, this is a fun stream, this, it's just this B spec, you can say what you want. And, I mean, uh, it's, I mean right now Ross is doing fine, so we could just, like, you know... Yeah, we can all just, I don't know, call up McDonald's, tell them I want five Big Macs, or I will hold your manager hostage. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> just spam maintain. Well, it's not fun. I want him to spam. I want to spam face up. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference to be honest. Like you just, his bar is already to the red. Do you just want to crash your like prices, like Toyota Seven? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just I smash it into it. that uh, aforementioned McDonald's building. No. <laughs> what's with you? What's with you again, McDonald's? I don't know. I don't even like it. Well, I, eh, it depends. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it isn't. Once they actually forgot. No, it was KFC. Never mind. I won't throw shade at the wrong company. Although most of the time. <laughs> You just, exactly you just want to roast sense. someone, that's what you just want to do, do you? Well, I mean, not really, because I'm not naming anyone. So, I'm a nomen... A, a, I'm going to say that word. <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess I am sort of roasting them, but I'm not really roasting them, because they don't even know they're being roasted, because I'm not really mentioning them. And yeah, I, I, I'm saying random things, because random things, and also... See, when I run out of things to say, I just try and find literally anything, hold on to it, and just keep spurting it until my mind conjures up something else to say that is a bit more interesting. And then... <laughs> yeah, Rishi says, Rishi says, we will locate this building to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway race. <laughs> <laughs> this script is just us roasting with arms. You like how so tall the driver sits, Eric? Well, it's a Can-Am car. I can only imagine that. <laughs> Drivers were pretty exposed during the 70s. <laughs> oh, that's why like a McDonald's. I think do. 70s is just that everyone's just like, you know, pretty much had a chance to die. Probably even worse pretty than much. In the 50s and 60s as well. Everyone Ooh. dies during a motorsport race, apparently. Speaking pretty of, much, sorry, oh, speaking of the 70s and the 80s, there's actually a video out there. Uh, a very clear video of uh, this man and his partner who actually went to McDonald's. So, uh, it's... <laughs> Jesus <laughs> I just Christ. It. it actually exists. <laughs> it's like a look into the 80s. It's... You know, some nice camera for the time. It's it'll on YouTube. Fun. It'll be funny though, just to compare the McDonald's of today and the '70s. Like how our people are now. I'm pretty probably sure the big. Better. I think the big difference is that everyone's probably using their phones. <laughs> yeah, that and. Uh, oh well, I mean, people are still cunts, by the way, the, the right now. So then to the '70s. So <laughs> people are still. Cunts. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not this mad. Well, I, I might sound. I, I think I actually sound like I, I should live in a mental institution sometimes. But on my own streams, it's not this bad. Trust me. It's just that I don't have a game to play, so I'm not focusing on anything. I'm just looking at video while thinking of things to say that might amuse people. I'm just looking, people we're just like, all looking at Rossi just kicking ass. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Rossi's kind of been doing a alternate strategy because like everyone pitted like around lap 25 or so, and like he's. A whole lap ahead of the entire field right now. Also, why he has no mental strength and strength? Oh, because uh, I'm keeping him out for long. You're don't kill him, dude. <laughs> He's an athlete. He's okay. That would be the oh, Pete. that would be the best Ooh, team a... radio in F1 ever. Don't kill him, but it's okay. <laughs> He's an athlete. He'll be all right. <laughs> there's a P Rossi. Rossi just mentioned. Oh, he's in third. Oh, look, Rossi and Rossi. It's the Rossi brothers. <laughs> the other reason I'm going on about McDonald's is because I don't really have, uh, uh, I don't really know much about what you're actually talking about, which is American motorsport. So, pardon um, my ignorance on that. It's <laughs> so, oh no worries, no worries. So McDonald's it's is filling the, fill the gap for me. Oh, got it. So it's just Formula Drift. Um, he went to the I've Formula Drift it, yeah. finale. Yeah, it, he went to the finale yesterday at Urbandale Speedway, which is only about like thirty or twenty miles to the east of Los Angeles. Of downtown LA, and it's a cool little venue, a little half mile oval. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Um, I normally go for like NASCAR stuff, honestly, but I don't go. Yes, uh, Fernando, everyone else stopped. Um, I don't normally go be to the Formula Drift event because of how crazy the crowd gets, like I mentioned before. Yeah. Oh, okay, and, they're they're quite insane yet, there, are they? And yet I didn't get yeah. and yet I didn't get into a fight, so yay. <sighs> what can you do about it? Uh, and I think the reason why I probably was out of that barbecue bra or whatever is because I was probably hanging out with drivers. I think mm -hmm. that's what... Uh, Rishi, yeah, Rishi just says he got sent a spider pick. Well, Rishi, what you should do now is drop your phone in a volcano, leave it there for the rest of time, and find the person who sent you that <laughs> picture and give them a stern <laughs> warning that they shouldn't send spider pictures or you will hit them in the face many times. What's or you'll <laughs> we'll do none of that because you don't want to get locked up in jail. So, What's with everyone like, being so violent today? Jesus Christ! I don't. That's, that's a good point, actually. Why is everyone violent? Hmm. I mean, we're just talking about brawls in Orlando, and then now you're on fight someone because of spider picks. 
to be yeah. fair, if someone sent me a spider pick, I would I would actually drop my phone because I hate spiders. That much? Oh yeah. Oh dude, dude, spiders are like spiders and other things with far too many legs are things that very much scare me. Uh, like shit. if I see that shit on telly, all I do is like I recoil like I've been fucking shot. It's weird. I just look away as quick as possible because. I don't like looking at those creepy crawly bastards. <laughs> I like how I, the, I like how um, Eric says because violence towards our uh, towards others for no reason is funny. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's playful violence, sure. If someone's actually trying to hit me in the face with a baseball bat for no reason, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I've got something to say about that. I mean, that's what happened earlier, though. People were like swinging for no reason. So what did the other guy Whoa. just said? Yes, please hit me in the face. <laughs> I mean, you saw the video, right? I, um, I did not. No, I'm mean, okay. No, no, no. But you? No, 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 of course. I'm the one who told you about the video. What, what do you think about the video? Like, oh, it's hilarious. You, those guys can't fight for crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that. Uh, oh, uh, do you have an Instagram? Uh, I do. It's the same as everything else. It's then called. It. It's called Formula Derp. Best Derp. name ever. Okay. Formula Derp. I'm going to look at that right now, let's see. And the UFC Veteran 3, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all I post is things that I've made, and I don't even post that much. Got it. And it's oh, the thanks. third, and it's the third oh, video. It's yeah, the third it thing. Third thing, okay. Holy shit, the thumbnail alone is... <laughs> 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 uh, right, this, uh, this gives me high hopes. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> That is the sloppy. Oh my god. So they're. Uh... <laughs> I like the oh hashtag kept his hands dog. <laughs> Holy shit, he telegraphs that. You could see that right hand coming from Pluto. That's not even funny. <laughs> I've seen le I've seen better technique from people fucking stuck in hospital beds. Trying to switch lines. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing live reactions of a fight in Armadale. Fucking shit. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like what me and my brother like to do usually is like we like to go on YouTube and look up like like just shitty fight videos like, like felony <laughs> fights and just like watch them <laughs> and just comment on them. I should you do that and felony? break it down from a technical standpoint for a laugh. <laughs> you, you ever seen felony fights UFC? Have I seen what? Felony fights? No, I'm guessing it's people uh, that have felonies. <laughs> uh, it's people who get. I mean, it's just. I think it's just people who get out of prison, and like people just get them to fight each other for like bare fucking change, dude. And like, it's usually just like gangsters who fight each other. It's. it's why? Oh, are, like, dude. why are they that stupid? Like, yes, I've gotten out of prison. Let me just take a trip back in. I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's well, you can't really sanction a street event, but you know. Stick it. I don't know. I guess it's underground, right? Sort of underground or something. Hey, Gus, what's up? What's up? And then Juventus, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Well, this is starting to become a good stream. We're just watching, you know, like Urban Dough fights, and everyone's coming here. I'm like, what is everyone doing? <laughs> this is actually at this point. It's good. It is. It, 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 I bet people are going to come in here, look at the video, and then realize, and then think that we're actually it's meant to be something totally different because we're not even talking about the game like at all. It's just no. fights. <laughs> In crowd, because <laughs> it's Rossi just winning when it's yeah. Toyota, 80, Toyota not 87, 87. This is a 2014 F1 season all over again. I think Rossi might be okay. He's he's pitting this lap. I think he does uh, 40 laps per 41 laps per spin. Um, the other Rossi might catch him in the pits and might actually take the lead once the cycle finishes. Oh. But I'm guessing that. You know, everyone else is gonna do about like a what? What's twenty divided by? Uh, about a ten stop strategy. Rossi might do a five stopper, and so we might end up winning the race just on strategy at the end. Can I just say something? Yeah. How funny is it that an engine from what? What is it? The Toyota One? Is it the Toyota? Is it from the seventies? Toyota Seven. The Toyota Seven. Yeah. Seventy. 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 Toyota Seven. Okay. Yep. That engine is still more reliable than the McLaren Honda engine. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'll recoin that again. <laughs> All right, so Alonzo is gonna take the wheel. Oh no! That's oh, gonna blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Lap 180, here we come, Mikhail. No, his luck is after Alonzo. He might as well be I'm dot gone. 
Hey, what's up, Gus? Welcome to the stream. How's it going, dude? I like how it, it went from like talking about. You should put the links to the videos you mentioned to help newcomers who don't think that you're mental. <laughs> well, I am. I am, first of all, I am pretty mental, my friend. And second, I'll go ahead and post it if you have Instagram. Yes, outdated jokes. Outdated jokes in 2018. I can't believe my computer can actually load. Well, yeah, yeah McCurran is still shit. shit. McCurran is still shit this year anyway. That, that car is so draggy, like it's not even funny. It's actually worse than last year if you look at the lap times. Yeah, I really. I just don't yeah. know how. I don't know how they made it so shit. Also, by the way, your uh, feeling is just so weird. Like it's not. You're not even feeling the car. It's just like over the. Ah. Uh, what the fuck, GT5? <laughs> oh, I know. There's no fuel coming out, and he's just putting it over. Yeah, the what top is he? I just realized. Yeah, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> is he trying to? Is he trying to make the driver drink? Drink it. <laughs> I'm also drinking gas. Oh god. What drivers are in the race? Uh, Alonzo, Rossi, Fernandez, and Vargas, and uh, LMP2 engine, and LMP2. Ah! <laughs> He's doing a dare to see if he can get from the foot out. Oh my god. Jokes. <laughs> yep, so it turns out that fuel is actually magnetic. Because <laughs> magnetic. <laughs> it's just gone into the engine somehow. <laughs> yeah, this is a fish that should have posted in 500. Dude, even if even if I lose this race, let's say hypothetically speaking, I lose this race, dude, I'm probably just gonna edit in like a win at the end or something because this conversation is too good to like not keep as part of the last play. To be honest, I'd love no, to see DSP play this. Holy shit! Oh He's gonna God, suck. Dude. He is gonna suck ass. Why don't I have nitrous? <laughs> <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> It's clearly not my fault. <laughs> if I ever seen him, see him and he just crashes and he just quits, I'm just gonna say he sucks ass. Dude, he plays, you know he plays racing games too, right? Yeah, he like, does. Oh dear, get him away, get him away. Dude, he plays Driver San Francisco and it's so funny because like, he expects like, like freaking uh, like 18 wheelers to have the same handling as like a McLaren or something. <laughs> like, it's so goddamn funny, dude. He probably doesn't even know, I don't know if he's like drives in real life, that'd be scary. I do not. I do not trust him when any. If he, yeah, if, he, if, he, if he's ever my Uber driver, I'm not trusting him. Oh. Fuck him. Yeah, like, yeah, dude. I wonder like where he got his fucking license from, dude. If he's that bad at games, like, Jesus Christ, man. If he drives like, in real life like a dozen games, I'd rather grow up into a bus or something. <laughs> <laughs> nah, if I ever have a car and I see him in a car, I'll probably just take him out. Fuck you, pussy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I such a dick nowadays? Holy shit. We were infecting each other with our dick. Actually, never mind, I won't say that one. <laughs> <laughs> you said it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. I must post a this to this conspiracy, Jesus. <laughs> Quote of the year from the UFC veteran. <laughs> it might even be heard, by the way, because I think the game is quite loud and I'm not exactly that, so I don't know nah, if they, I can be heard. Nah, they probably heard you. I think so. No, yeah, they, they heard you because um, Eric, says, uh, go Eric says go ahead and say it. Yeah, okay. God, this is such a good meme. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, Where's the other Rossi? Oh, he's barely into return. Well, oh, we're good. We're catching the draft. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Uh, so, anyways, you know what the best driver I hang out with? Bon Gideon. Oh, what about him? He's a Tisa top bro. Hang on, am I being filtered from curse words? Ah. It's because you got a Pepe it. profile picture. The game, uh, YouTube <laughs> automatically <laughs> says this is such an old, old picture. Yeah, nice Pepe the Frog meme. Yeah. I don't think you should be. I don't have any kind of settings like that. <laughs> so... I mean, this is a pure shit post already. So what's the point? From this day forward, he is now Peep. Peep. Peep the frog. I mean, I already cussed. I already think I already cussed a lot during this stream way more than others. So I don't know why. Yeah, this is this is getting Damn. demonetized already. Yeah, hell yeah. I saw Rossi's. Oh, well, you guys didn't see right now. Rossi's three wide passes to turn one. Oh, oh yeah, I just. I'm, I'm about to see it right now. I would commentate if I was up to. If I was live. But, well, I am sort of live. You know what I mean? If, if I could see your screen, I'd do my best Mario Walker impression. I see it. No. I wouldn't because Murray Walker is sort of with the class of Can't really do a money, money, walk, money walk. No, Murray was, Walker impression. It's kind of hard. There you go. Oh, Jesus Christ. That guy hurt, hurt my ear. Ow. Ow. Fucking ow. There you go. Problem solved. 
Why is it so loud? Oh. What's allowed? What are we saying here? Oh, hello. Oh, I like this. Smart man. Smart man. Very smart. No, because I have my phone in my ear and then I just heard loud boom. Like different voice. I'm going to talk like this just for a second and I'm going to check the stream to make sure I sound yeah. okay. Yeah. Turn two, which is the second turn on the circuit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just saw an oof. Uh, like that yeah. front block. Yeah, that, that's, my, that's my emergency oof. Um, if, if emoji, I guess, if um, I ever fuck up. Wow, this is a good meme. I what what turn up. is this? Turn left? Uh, they're all left, so... Uh, what are Why are you being filtered for cuss words? This is... Oh. Good well, thing. I'm gonna lap down. Good no, thing. that's okay. It's a good thing YouTube can't... Uh, well, it's a good thing it can't uh, cur uh, bleep your... Uh, God damn it, can I speak? It's a good thing it... <laughs> <clears throat> It's a good thing they can't bleep your voice when you're live talking. Because that would be... First of all, it would be incredibly good technology, and secondly, like, <laughs> I wouldn't be on YouTube anymore. I think none of us would be on YouTube if YouTube first. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Although, if it could do that, I'd challenge it. Just to see how, how many swear words I could get in, see if it could sense all of them. Oh, and that so... joke fell flat. <laughs> it wasn't even a joke. Never mind. You notice a few of the comments were being shown in the video, huh? Same with That's me, actually. I've had, I've had that issue with a few of them. Censorship. Censorship. <laughs> so, oh my god, um, SJWs everywhere! <laughs> <laughs> you just sound like Kimmy was taking shit, dude. I sound like who? Kimmy and Ragged and taking shit. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, 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 uh, I'll be sure to tell that to everyone I meet. I'm actually Kimmy Riken on the toilet, even though I'm not <laughs> finished in any way. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Eric says, I called you the F-A-G word in a censor day, and then Risha said, Fang? Wow. <laughs> it, it, it's legit. I'm going to try. Let's see. Right. I just typed it in, see if that comes up. Yeah, it came up. Wait, let me type one more thing, just so to make sure it works. Hey, go ahead, roast me, roast me in the chat, and let's see if it all comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Moderator privileges. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, yeah, we, even the mods are just making jokes. You can it's get not... away with swearing on PlayStation, by the way, by putting a space between each one of your... Uh, that's, what I, that's, that's what I did in GT4. Yeah. Everyone, like, oh, everyone did it on GT6 as well, almost a GT3, GT6. And, like, I always see on, like, the dirty races that always come to sometimes on board. If people want to cuss, they would just want to space things out. Which makes it more fun because it looks like you're trying to make it like a big deal out of the thing. Uh. Yeah, we we all really need help. <laughs> and it, I need Jesus. And, and we're only like a quarter away from the... I'm three quarter away? Holy uh, shit, 50 we're, laps We're a quarter in, in yeah. But is, we're going to be skeletons by the end of this. Mm. I'm, I'm questioning whether or not I can win this race with seven now. Don't worry, it's F. Alonso. He has brilliant reliability and success in Japanese brands. <laughs> I mean, True. he is using a Toyota, so we should be fine. Yeah, but then again, didn't Toyota break down at the last lap of Le Mans? This, is not, this is not 2017. Was it 2017 or 2016? It's not like that. 16. Yeah, 16. but we're, we're 2018 and yet they're right so winning yeah. every kind of race. Same year, Cavs won the championship, and that's not going to happen for another 20 years, or maybe even ever, because... No more LeBron, no. <laughs> Oh, well. I mean, we must probably wear the bottom of the league. Here's the point for LeBron's and the Lakers, so... Uh, I know, uh. No, it's weird to see him like that. Just it is a little bit weird. Well, we, used to, we used to hate him so much, when, when he was in like, the Cavaliers to the Lakers. Now, Wait, are you a Laker fan? Yeah. Right, let me yep. just uh, find my missiles in the back. I think I've got some. I hate you so much. I'll let, let's let's engage <laughs> fan warfare. You're fucked, my son. I'm going to see you in real life and strangle you with the Cavs jersey. Bitch, I'll run you over with a Mustang. Oh my god, okay. You already, out, you already outclassed you there. <laughs> you see, the Mustang is American. It's going to stop, have a coffee and a cake on the side, which will let me run away in the meantime. It's still a crowd way car, goddammit. It'll probably run you over anyways. 
I'll jump over it. <laughs> is strangling supposed to be a punishment? Uh, not for some people. Oh my okay. god. Okay. Uh, okay, now we're just going to fucking kink. Oh god. I didn't say that. There's not much you can come back with. I'm gonna, with, I'm gonna after I'm gonna run you over. Besides, I don't know. I'm gonna get up. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm gonna get up. But, but I don't. Really... Maybe I can't. Maybe. But then again, I might not fit under the Mustang, so I might actually be unkillable. You have to need a bigger car, sunshine. Bro, I'm rage too. <laughs> I'll yeah. fight you in the uh, playground. Okay. Come at me, bro. In the playground. <laughs> I'll double leg you and get you in an RNC. No, I'm oh joking. I'm never trained in my life, but I I guess self trained is the thing. Why well, are we over just talking about fighting each other over a GT, GT5 game? <laughs> because <laughs> we're. Could we suck at commentary? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm actually the greatest commentator of all time. Oh, really? Sure. I'm so good that you can't actually. You don't understand. The, the shit that's going on here, it's so deep. There's multiple <laughs> layers to this. This is the best Indianapolis 500 I've ever been. Holy shit, this is awesome. I will passively aggressively make snarky responses to you. Ooh, we have a um, pit stop strategy from one of the, your um, viewers. You might want to read um... it. Would okay, let's see here. TMC, try on the next pit stop to put the soft tires up the front hard on. All oh, right, softs on front, hards on the back. Um, that's not a bad idea. This better be either a Mercedes Strat or a better idea sports soft. Oh, yeah, God. didn't Williams put <laughs> the uh, the wrong tires on in I think it was 2016? They put the wrong tires on Bottas's car at the back, <laughs> they put hard tires on the back oh, and softs on the front. Oh, God, As if Williams wasn't bad enough, like they fucked that up as well. As I, don't, I, 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 I feel bad. I feel bad for George Russell. I really do. I mean, he is. I mean, he is, his career is going to be fucked for at least three years if he stays in Williams. Yeah, he's done. Unless some Russian investor comes up with something called money, and uh, they get some nice people in there that can help them develop a decent car for once. I mean, shit. I mean, that doesn't Tor blow under the wind. George Russell's better than Williams. But, That's saying a lot, dude. <laughs> Considering where Williams was like 10 years ago. God damn. What did you say? I missed it. Sorry. Toro Ross is better no, than Williams. Oh, yeah. Like, Toro Ross is better than Williams. It's crazy how, how time just changed. Yeah. Like Toro I mean, Ross I... has been good at adapting with a smaller budget. And you're getting a Honda engine, too. Actually, they're in a Honda engine right now. That Honda like, engine is kind of good at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if Red Bull ends up winning with the Honda engine. I'll be laughing my ass off. I mean, apparently there's been an update. Well, I say an update. There's a rumor that the Honda engine is now only after the next update. It's going to be only 20 horsepower behind the top guys. Yeah. Oh no way. Which is kind of crazy, and Honda and McLaren are going to be kicking themselves at this point. Oh, so that means dude. that means they might have better reliability then. Yeah. True. Well, hang on, hang on a second. Oh, that's what's happening. It gets filtered from top channel. It gets thrown into live. That's weird. Um, I want Jordan back in F1. Hey, 23 UHR, what's up, dude? Um, yeah, dude, Jordan was a cool team, especially during the late 90s. And actually, in my Nürburgring race, I tried the softs at front, hards in the back, and somehow made the car faster. Didn't need to pace up my drivers. We're not. Well, we're not in Nürburgring for one thing. Well, true, but at the same time, it's just like you don't need to pace up the drivers, but you kind of have to at IMS because, like these drivers, if they're anywhere near the blue. They're going to be really off the base. They're going to go really slow into the corners. And, uh, yeah, we don't want that at all. Henry Jordan was recently on the uh, Beyond the Grid podcast for well, it's the Formula One Zone podcast, and he talked about uh, would he come back. And I, he, I think he said, uh, I think he said he wouldn't, but, like, he kind of misses it at the same time, I think. I don't know. I doubt it. He's too old to come. And that's not a slight Eddie Jordan, but, like, eventually it gets to a point where you want to just relax and not have all that stress on. I tried hard in the back too. I had corn cancer. Now what? All right. It's, it's, what an interesting stream this is because it's it's just like not only are we having like just saying random shit. Now the chats are joined in as well. <laughs> no, you have a semi-serious question? No, yeah, no, no, no. Serious question. I'll uh, ban him. Get him out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> only Sorry, Reece, you. you... <laughs> You've insulted you insulted in and out earlier today, and then oh, this. Oh, you're gone. You're banished. You're destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, unhint the message, please. Don't do this. Jeez, jokes. 
We are What's next? Skyrim I, memes. I, I did not do anything. By Skyrim the way. memes. I did not do anything. I'm so sick. <laughs> Heck. I it's all the joke, Eric. Don't worry. I did see the. I did see the question though, so don't worry. I'm, 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 I'm now freaking bad. No. Okay. Here's what he said. Talking about Kimmy's um retirement, like, well, not retirement, but he's going from Ferrari to I think Salvo. Oh wait, wait. I'm sorry. Um, hold that thought. Uh, go ahead and ask your question, Yeah, uh, yeah. That's the question. Definitely go ahead. Something about Kimmy. Wait. Oh, that was the question. Yeah. <laughs> did he type? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I see it. I, I, I banned him right when he asked that question. Well, Kimmy's oh career oh, really? because sabbatical. Yes. <laughs> well, me, me, okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Supposed to come back, isn't there it? There you go. It says, will Kimmy's, Kimmy's career end before Mika's sabbatical? Yeah. Sabbatical. I okay. said yes because uh, he said yes to a lot of questions. Mika. Okay, so you say yes. 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 <laughs> yes with the period after it. No, no <laughs> apparent reason. By the way, um, but, uh, who is the best? Uh, quick question to you. Um, who do you think is the best bro of uh, Formula Drift? Oh, me? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean by bro? I think Vaughn's probably like a cool dude. Same with his team. Oh, like, oh, in terms of like, you know, everybody really. Like, everyone in the paddock is really nice, dude. I, the only driver that I honestly can say that I don't really think is super nice is probably. JTP Justin Pollock, really. Yeah, I didn't really see him that much, so I don't have to worry about that. That's him. about it. But guys, you're all missing it. None of these guys are, are any good. What you really need is the Rain Carter Kane. Absolute demi god. Oh, that's true, yeah. We need a freaking Mahindra drift car, yeah. Cucumber. Hell yeah. Now, do you know what we have? We need, um. Well, I know he's not going to be at more than that. that oh, Tata, I'm sorry. Um. Rosen Quiz. He needs to be in a drift car. Yeah, Felix would probably do a good job in the drift car. Who's my favorite NASCAR driver? Um, in all three Shut up, series, Ryan Blaney in Cup. It's between Ryan Blaney and I don't know who else. I really like Ryan Blaney, first off. And Kyle Larson. Between Ryan Blaney and Kyle Larson in Xfinity, anyone but Elliot Sadler. <laughs> and in Trucks, Noah Gregson. Guys, what? Should I do a live reading of F1 fan fiction on the stream? No. Do not do it again. Oh yeah, he he's Dan Rishi again? No, because he's actually Kimmy. Kimmy's actually an NASCAR driver. He's not wrong on that. He did um, a truck start and he raced in the Xfinity series once at Charlotte. Really? Yes. Oh yeah, he did and, that one time. Something that one. Yeah, he actually, he actually did a really good drive, a really good job at Charlotte in the truck series. I think he's fin I think he finished like fifteenth, which is still impressive out of like what thirty five entries or so. Considering that it's way different than say an F one car. May I just ask, you said again, implying it's already been read out before. <laughs> Am I missing something here? Yeah, you are missing something. Favorite driver in WC. Um, wow, yeah. that was quick. Clearly, uh, <laughs> our friendship is destroyed, and uh, I'll be leaving for the rest of time. <laughs> Go All fuck right. yourself. <laughs> Alright, bye. I'll slap you in the face. Mmm, I'll eat that slap, and then regurgitate <laughs> it in your face. Damn, what? This is like the snarkiest like commentary I've ever seen. So that's your guys' favorite driver in WEC. <laughs> Good transition. <laughs> well, I don't know. No, okay. Um, see, favorite driver in WEC. Um, uh, uh, Toyota. Who else races in WEC? It's just Toyota, right? I mean, there's not really anyone else who races in WEC. Uh, I mean, you can say Kobayashi. He's very good with his car. Gustavo Menezes, because he followed me on Instagram for like five minutes and then unfollowed me. And I was like, what the hell was that about? I should say, I'm. let me just, sorry. Uh, I'm not like this to people in real life. Well, I don't go up to people and say, yes, I'm going to hit you in the face. There's nothing you can do about it. It's all just a bit of a fun bit. Fun, uh, fun no, I know, I know. It's, it's banter. I know. It's banter, but sometimes in 2018, you've got to be careful. Some people, you know, person pressures are a lot for some people. God, I mean, some of my God, can you imagine some people. My my streams get kind of mad sometimes. So if, if someone comes on that stream, and they just hear me saying all sorts of random shit, that's the first impression they get. I didn't think of that, but I do now. Hmm. There may be a change in content. <laughs>
My heart. I know nothing. Eric says, I know nothing about Formula One, NASCAR, or any motorsports drivers. I don't give a damn, but your stream is still fun. Oh, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. And let me go through the comments real quick. Let's see here. I don't know much of NASCAR, but my favorite driver is Kyle Busch. Heard his name often. Okay. Favorite, okay, cool. Favorite um, driver is also giving me guarantees going draft one. I can actually do that too. And my hospital bills are due to the <laughs> In all seriousness now, for WEC, um... I'll be honest with you, Gus, I don't really follow a whole lot of WEC, and it's not because, like, oh, Toyota, LMP domination. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's mainly because, like, I don't know, it's just the time differences, and really, it's just, like, I like Alonzo in LMP1, I like Jean-Eric Verne in LMP2, doesn't he race WEC? I don't know. Don't they G-Drive team race? I don't know, doesn't, maybe ELMS. Doesn't he drive but Formula E as well? He does, for, yeah. for Tachita. And I think but, he won um, championship too, right? Yep. Nice. But in terms of sports car racing, I mainly follow IMSA in the U.S. Because oh, by the way, IMSA the just finished their season, right? Dude, did you see the end of the Petit Le Mans? Yo, I'm happy for I'm happy for WTR. Oh, I know, dude. So, yeah, it turned so uh, vet. Um, leader in the last lap of the 10-hour Petit Le Mans race in Road Atlanta was leading with only a corner to go and ran out of fuel. Ooh. And here comes the other Cadillac. Um, with a kind of like in a motor race, get out. No, it's. Oh, dude. It's no, thing. I know, I'm joking. It's just I'm imagining <laughs> a huge Cadillac destroying all the really. Yeah, just race cars. No, the Cadillac. Uh, wait, Escalade, right? That is a Cadillac, yeah? Yeah, it is. Just beat all of these race cars that are purposely built for the track. Big SUV, quickest thing on earth. Oh, my Escalade. Oh, I don't have an Escalade underground, too. I have a Hummer. But damn it. I forgot I traded it in. <laughs> oh, by the way. Yes, you yeah, so ran out of fuel. Yeah. That's that's sad. Do you know what? Um, you know what's, that's sad. I don't have any <laughs> connection to it, so I can't really say anything. Just like, and and dude, that BMW's wing is so fucked. Look. Yeah, it is. Look at it. Oh my god. It is destroyed. Absolutely. Your front of your car is destroyed. Look at that. Like, well, hey, Eric. I, I I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Just, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Thank you as well. Thank you. Whoa. BMW just had enough of that. He just kind of shoved Alonso out the way. Damn. Look at he that. wants to race me in turn one. What's it? Everyone being offended and like, you know, in track. <laughs> it's authentic. <laughs> Put him in the wall. There you go. Good job. I think that BMW drives is pissed off because an old car's better than him. <laughs> Advanced arrow. What's up, Apollo? What is the, What is that wing? What what wing? Of what car? BMW? The BMW? It looks absolutely... Oh, it, it's on the wrong end of the Oh, it, it, it's uh, the shitty damage model of GT5. That's what it is. If it's if it's in real life, you would have just hit the wall. Why does Rossi break in a straight line? I don't know. Rossi's not racing. He's... It's not Alonso. Program. It's Alonso. Well, he might be... To Wait. I thought there was another Rossi. Oh, they switched drivers out, yeah. Yeah, driver swap. Okay. There, okay, there is an extreme speed disadvantage in Australia, but it doesn't matter because the AI in these games have no idea how to turn with any They're source. rubbish. R wow, rubbish, you didn't say trash. <laughs> yeah, they're trash, bro. <laughs> they're garbage, man. <laughs> they're garbage. I think garbage. I'm, I'm just used to saying, like, rubbish and cunt. All right. Yeah, I don't see a Jaguar in the field. Yes, sorry. Jaguar. Just <laughs> fine. <laughs> these Americans. Especially that they're from what? South, I South just, America, I suppose they say it like that. Not actually I, South American. But I just call it a Jag. Because it works. Yeah, there's no Nissans here either. Nissan. Nissan. See, we either call it Nissan or Nissan. No, you, no, you gotta call it Oh Nissan. A. -E. <laughs> well, hold on a minute. <laughs> a I'm missing jag. it. I'm missing it here. It's Inform. called weep shit. Just ignore it. Okay, right. Yeah, I will ignore that. Um, <laughs> oh, we, we, we know Gus. Um, they did a driver swap though, so they're gone. Nissan! Um, oh, dude, I want to <laughs> say that. The Nissan on its ass! <laughs> well, that, that's Angry Rick again, though, isn't it? Yes! Yeah, you definitely sound like you're taking shit right now. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh like Monday as well, I can't help it. Do we call it Datsun? Uh, no, but Clarkson does for a joke. No, that's not Clarkson. It's, the, it's Hammond and May that call it a Datsun. We don't call it a Datsun, no. And sometimes I call it a Datsun, only if it's old. <laughs> Nissan fans are just the excites. 
God, we are so bad at this. I, I, I wonder if a company would take a billion dollars to change their company name or motto to Oh my well move, she do do. Just for a joke. <laughs> April Fool's Day. It's an advert that, and it's just I the voice line. Oh my well move, she do do. Nani. <laughs> Nani. <laughs> what the fuck is the stream? <laughs> Nothing related to Gr Gran Turismo. No, all we, I know. All we're seeing just a lot of racing new cars and not yeah. Some V Spec, I think, is that it's good. V Spec is one of those streams that you can just say whatever you want because the AI is going to dominate most of the time anyway. Well, I mean, the AI of your AI. That make hold on a minute. Wait, never mind. Just get a R car brand. Just get a car brand with shitty safety standards. <laughs> you are already dead, airbags. <laughs> I fucking love this stream so much, and we're not even at a like halfway. Mm. I'm glad I joined in though, this has been a fun time. Oh, I know, dude. I appreciate you guys being here, because I don't know what I would do in terms of commentary if I didn't have anyone to talk to. I'm a little proud, probably, for a while. Putting out how many pixels <laughs> yeah, I have. Hey, Noodles, welcome back. Are oh, you just <laughs> missing the insanity that's the stream? Oh my god. Oh, Check no. this VOD. Actually, no, there is no VOD. Someone for these, needs to scream. Oh, no. No, no, no Eric. No, that's, that's no. not. No, no, that's, that's actually not funny. Um, we, are not go we are not racist on here, yeah? That's like. That's like Indian slash. No, we're well, not. No. We're not it's... racist. We're racing. Haha, that's not. I mean, no. Oh, jokes. Why did I laugh? <laughs> jokes. Yes, jokes. We're <laughs> getting braces. Are you getting braces, noodles? Oh, that sucks. Ooh, oh. no. Wait, hold on. I think I. I, I hold on. Press F for uh, hot noodles right now. F. Sorry. Wait, no. There we go. Click your keyboard so you all know I'm typing. There you go. Oh, you guilty honky that wasn't serious. <laughs> Triggered! <laughs> Banned, deleted, destroyed! I've called Interpol, it's fucked. <laughs> oh my god, that wing from the BMW is so fucked. Holy it shit. It was only a joke. <laughs> the camera's right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's only wing a joke. looks like it's been stopped on by an, stomped on by an anvil. Well, no, how can an anvil stomp on something? You get the point. Been dropped on by an anvil. Wait, what the fuck? I can't even speak properly. I just said dropped on by an anvil. <laughs> it makes no on, sense. Dropped on by an anvil. Nah, it looks like someone, some fan decided to sit on it and then. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Well, that oh, sounds not. That's Mikhail, not funny story about sitting on it. Um, there was a um, 1996 uh, Ameri um what's it called all AAR Eagle chassis champ car at a show once, and this girl actually sat on um, the rear wing, dude. And she broke the rear wing of the car, and the owner of the car, holy shit, dude. He was pissed, is he? Dude, of course, because it's a 1996 Indy car, bro. I mean... Like, especially an all, equal chassis. Freaking Dan Grinney's dead now. You know, like, it's worth a shit ton of money. Uh, that woman... Ask him the... to come back from the dead and, like, tell them to make a new rear wing or something, you know? So, like, wait, um... Uh, so... What does that girl look like? Is he, like, some, like, young girl, like, some girl that don't even care about racing at all? And just wants to go to the right. Well, pretty much. If that's the case, uh, she deserves everything. She needs to go into the room and get beaten. Oh God. <laughs> God, I'm such an. Uh, like, I don't Whoa. know. Oh, seriously though, why would people sit on wings for fuck's sake? Because so they, they want to be on room. elevated positions. So they can't afford an SUV. Like, what's the point? If that's the case, then I'm pretty sure some lady just sit on it right now of the BMW and still racing. I don't know what to say. Like, literally, I don't know what to say. I, I can't think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then, like, dude, the owner of the car, like, the owner of the car, dude, holy shit, man. I've never seen anyone angry before. Like, I don't, you can't blame them. I would have made that woman forge, the, forge a new wing. If <laughs> you were there at that time? Oh, yeah, dude. I was, dude, I saw it. I saw that. It was at a uh, car show in, like, Huntington Beach or something. Before. If I were you there, I'll just straight up cut you out, too. Nah, no point. Freaking owner of the car can do the justice, you know. I know. I'll probably just record it though, just for 
joke's sake. How does that BMW still drive straight? Active air on my brain. Seriously, why would anyone, like, especially with that car, because who's who's dead? Um, Gurney, right? <laughs> what? Ooh, <laughs> Eric's shooting. Shots oh, fired. Gazing, I feel the burn. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, I'll, I'm gonna grab some water. I'll be back in like two minutes. He's probably just I'm cooling off. For, he's probably cooling off for Dell. I'm now the new host of this stream. Uh, uh, everyone unsubscribe from the moving chicken. Jesus. Wisdom. Uh. Now the greatest commentator is a great one. Should love one. They just make things appear. Visual representations for the win. <clears throat> just don't subscribe. What the hell? Oh shit! Wait, no. What? Joseph Joestar. His character. His uh, not his character. His actor died, didn't he? Uh... Joseph Joestar from one of those animes. That, wow, that sounds so like not. Not not. Hold on, it sounds like I'm so out of touch when I say one of those animes. Ooh. You're no, definitely not a weeb, so I'm subscribe. <laughs> well, to be fair, it depends, because I am in love with the Yakuza games, so... Okay. And I've sort of been converting into a bit of a weeb from that, but you know. Okay, so I'll give you a pass then. Yeah, there you go. So I'm actually a, a master in the criminal underworld. So not only am I the greatest commentator of all the time, I'm actually a criminal figure. You know what would be worse if they just say anime, te just Japanese anime, if they're like Chinese cartoons? Like, uh, so, some people will say, you look at an anime, and they're like, oh, Jap Chinese cartoons. I'm like, oh, fuck. <clears throat> some people. You know what? I mean, if they've never even heard of it or anything, I. I don't know. It's, don't worry, uh, Gus, it's just sarcasm. <clears throat> I don't actually mean unsubscribe. We're just joking, because, you know, yeah, banter. We're just <clears throat> got a cough because it feels like I've got. By the way, yeah, okay. Also, by the way, That's fine. Anime, I was looking on Twitter um, today. I saw that some owner of Tesla, which, by the way, one of them, guy, um, Elon Musk, he, he, was Musk yeah. about, he was talking about anime and Twitter. Mm -hmm. Alright, Eric. Thanks for coming. Oh, thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> what was he saying about anime? He was just, like talking about, like, you know, like anime like Evangelion and all that stuff and then people are like oh shit he's actually weeb <laughs> I love if you guys hate the stream make sure you smash that dislike button if you guys don't want to see any more videos make sure you unsubscribe now <laughs> and there goes my ears thank you very much you're paying the medical bill <laughs> but yeah um Shigane, have you heard of what we said like one minute ago nope I was getting water uh something about Ellen Musk is actually talking about anime on Twitter <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? Uh, I don't know, but you should take it on Twitter, but he was talking about, like, anime and all that stuff. Anime? Yep. <laughs> what is anime? I have no idea. Holy <laughs> shit. Um, wait a minute, speaking of Elon Musk, I loved his appearance on the uh, Joe Rogan Experience. Oh, man, I love Joe Rogan Experience. Oh, so do That's I. a hell of a good podcast. Is he, I mean, I love MMA in general, so obviously. I what, was he just smoking something during that time? Yeah, he smoked weed. I don't think he inhaled it, but that, dude, that stream like, I, like IQ plus hundred. I like how we're Gus and Rishi are like, what the hell is this stream? This stream is um, this is gonna be locked in the underworld after this. <laughs> nah, he's probably just gonna. All right, listen, no, I'm gonna you do your strategy, and I'm gonna have Vargas drive. If this fails, I'm now I'm in, not only am I gonna ban you, but I'm gonna tell my mom. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So hards on the... Oh shit, I just put hards on the front, soft on the back. What the <laughs> hell? You're oh, fucking fuck. idiot. <laughs> you good God damn it, I'm a fucking idiot. Good job, don't forget this good choke again. But hey, <laughs> the Audi that's in second, um, he's gonna have to pit eventually too. And you do have like a fast. Ah, yes, the fuel that's going over the body. <laughs> oh, good lord. If this Toyota ends up crashing. Drive through penalty. If this Toyota. Thick chicane. Thick chicane. Thick. Ass. Soft in the front. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, soft in the front. I know, dude, I mixed them up by accident. Oh, God. Uh... Your theme. <laughs> God. What? 
I put hearts on the back and sauce on the front. <laughs> the game's bugged, man. How do I use rations? <laughs> I would love to see, just for a joke, the Angry Video Game Nerd imitate DSP. He's probably just gonna mock it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Rats. Is it a re? That's probably a re. Re. Oh, okay. That was uh, that was the really not loud version of. Uh, there's a guy out there. It's called Big Man Tyrone on the internet. He's African, but he does like meme videos. Oh, I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but are we gonna pit again? Yeah, to do the tire change. Oh my god. <laughs> Good man. Fuck. Yeah, fuck's sake. <laughs> Nani. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to survive this damn race. I'm not gonna have freaking Barkus. Fuck, survive Monaco. Survive Indy right here. This is this good. You know what? That's a new like, title. How to survive Indy wins. What botched up good stuff. <laughs> Massive ass. <laughs> You know what? We should just stop stop this game and just switch to Hong Kong 97. Oh, I'm oh. down, dude. I'm down to do a Hong Kong 97. Fuck game. yeah, I wanna I wanna be um Chin. <laughs> yeah, I heard of fucking ugly reds. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, how did that ever get into an Nintendo? I'm pretty sure the guys in Nintendo took a look at the box art and said, "Nah, we're not even gonna look at this. Just put it." Through. <laughs> I think it's fucking oh. ugly reds. Oh, it's fucking ugly reds. <sighs> this is a dang stream, guys. <laughs> you're, you're fighting Coca Cola, I think, right? It, all it, I know the final boss is a picture of a Chinese dictator or something. <laughs> you just shoot fireballs at. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh, though. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> So, Mikhail, have you ever heard of Hong Kong 97? <laughs> Holy shit, I just played the video back and all I could hear was you gasping for air like you've been ch <laughs> I mean, I hadn't heard about it, but it sounds like a pretty good meme right here. Oh my Fresh God. meme, brothers! That's good for, in fact, that's good next stream. We're just gonna see how this works. I think we've created oh. a new format. Wait, Talk about everything else with Butler content. Yeah, this is driving. Oh, okay, cool. <sighs> It's been a very, uh, a very productive stream in every way. Oh, you. definitely. Oh, and by the way, the Toyota is still in like the top of the grids, or not like top of the grid, but like you know, top half. Oh, I know. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I know we had not finished this whole like urban no topic. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that thing that was abandoned five years ago. <laughs> the fight part is it should have been abandoned, but it didn't. It sort of evolved. It became its own beast. No, here's the here's, here's the fight part. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Noodle says, gotta have dinner now. Have fun before I come back, okay? And he says, no food for you. <laughs> Dang off. But, um, I don't know if it was supposed to be closed anyways, like five years ago. Like, they tried to close it, make it to a mall. Yes. And it's now still here. Because. Well. Why not? Well, I'll tell you what, um, 211 Enterprises is the company that owned it from 2011 onwards, and uh, they're doing kind of a shitty job with running the place, and that's when, um, that's when, uh, Tre oh, not Trevor, uh, Tim Huddleston actually stepped in and bought the place, because Tim Huddleston is, I don't know who the hell he is, honestly, he owns, like, a race team or some shit, he went in with some investors, bought the place, his son Trevor races in NASCAR K&N now, which, to be honest, since, you know, Tim is always kind of rigged the fucking place at Irwindale so that way Trevor can win, and now that Trevor's racing in k and for one of the top teams, he can't perform for shit. Lol. Peer pressure. Yeah. Well, well, at least, that. I, I, <laughs> Speaking of abandonment, who hates when their mom interrupts their freaking Roblox game? Dude, my dumbass, when I was really young, I got Roblox thinking it was Minecraft. Don't hate me, I was so young, I didn't know the difference. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was... Um, I was Probably like ten. Speaking of the yeah, so I, <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> By the way, I think my next video is going to be uh, clickbait. No, 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 not I'm going to clickbait. I'm going to talk about it because that's always a good topic that gets me ranting and raving. 
As you know, if you saw me <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> now, do, you, well, do, you know, do you know what you do on when you're doing your highlight videos? If you came for this race, just have the Indian have 500 digits, like the Rio Indian cars and snap it on thumbnail. Oh, freaking, oh, freaking, um, Eric says, speaking of abandonment, who hates it when your mom abandons you? I do. Oh. <laughs> this narkin, oh, this narkin. I just turned dark. Fuck. <laughs> um, shit, um, anyways. Can we get an down. F? Which, seems like can we get an F for his abandonment or something, but. By the way, Irwindale's not bad, though. It's really, really good. Lager drifting. It was pretty close actually. And two one more times, which we talked about earlier yesterday. Oh god damn. It. Oh yeah. Not with the oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh I get it. Oh, because of the the, the the injures. Ah, oh, okay. I get it. I see you, Shikay. I see you. You ain't slick. You ain't I see No, you. I am <laughs> I'm not. I will never try to be Leg slick. Of head. <laughs> But yeah, you were talking about that like that one more time thing yesterday, right? About fawning. Yeah, you have to go to sleep because you're getting hungry. Richie, just bite your own uh, flesh off. It tastes good. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, look at his mouth. It's like you could feed yourself for days on that. Actually, wait, no, how would you? No, that makes no sense. You can't eat your own mouth. You couldn't oh, it to eat. It's all the way downstairs. Okay. Stairs, the most enemy of everyone. Good thing I live in anyway. One story for my house. I don't support that. The problem is that the Wi-Fi is really shit on the kitchen, so I can't do that here. Fuck. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> but wait, <sighs> anyways, uh, after a few interruptions, uh, I'll wait about that one more time with uh, Ospo and Vaughn. Yeah, what about it? Wait, you said you s the first one is bad, but the second time is good. Don't one more time. Okay, so... I thought the officiating was complete garbage. Because, garbage. <laughs> Gar I'm, I'm sorry. Garbage. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was rubbish. Because um, the, the first call was pretty dumb. Because Gittin clearly won that shit. Because, like, he followed Osbo closely. Especially coming into turn one of the, the third mile. And then when Osbo was chasing, he wasn't even that close to him and yet they gave him one more time and then the second time around the one more time was justified because they both kind of screwed up and the third time around well Oswald hit the damn wall so there was no way that they could do it one more time or give him the win because you know it, it, by the time the engines are like probably suffering because they did three straight one more times along with the other like rounds that they did yeah like I'm pretty sure those two cars would start getting fucked by like as the, as the days goes on like, I'm pretty sure Vaughn and I think Chelsea, his teammate, like, they're starting to spark up a bit, apparently. Oh, really? In terms of, like, chemistry or what? No, on it, no, when in the burn out stuff, because right at the end of their drifts, they seem to burn up the cars. Oh, okay. I, th I thought you said, like, they're Vaughn. I mean, like, no, his teammate was saying, what? Like, no, they seem fine. I mean, I mean, they're good right now. They're basically the like, best teammates, I think, for I get Yeah. But the cars were burning up at the end of each drift. Probably. Oh, they had to replace um, the alternator, right? Yeah, the bumper was destroyed, you know. It was getting pretty harsh for the RTR guys, because... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, like, I'll be a little, I'm a little biased, but I was pulling for James Dean all the way for the FD Championship, for sure. And when I saw Vaughn's uh, motor being worked on for the competition timeout, I was like, fuck. I was God damn it. No, I was hoping for Vaughn to win, actually. Because I know I like James Dean, obviously. I, you always make fun of me with Van Wagon. But James I'm sorry, Dean, this no. AI is brain dead. I've just seen it. Crash. <laughs> I just saw that. that was dumb. No, I, I don't make fun of James Dean because like everyone hops into James Dean Van Wagon. I make fun of James Dean because he shares the same name with the movie star and the porn star. <laughs> oh, okay. What an unfortunate coincidence. <laughs> but anyways, uh, not that I know any male porn stars, but anyways. You need help. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I need, <laughs> I need a lot of help. I spend a majority of my day watching This Is How You Don't Play, so my mind is like, not all there right now. Um, oh, wait, just going to bad officiating. I'll tell you what was badly officiated. NBA Finals. <laughs> I'm still annoyed about that. 
Does, that's doesn't Eric, Jim. That's Jimmy Dean. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll tell you what though, the AI isn't as dumb as J.R. Smith. So... <laughs> and I like J.R. Smith, but what the fuck, man? No, what he did there was tearing my heart in two. Also, the dumb... Ch ch well, the, the, the call on the, the charge that should have been the charge, but it wasn't because... I don't know, I'm not saying anything, but those refs... Very annoying. Oh, by the way, um... Chicane. Do you know what happened? Do you know what happened when the um, Force one, Wang won like the rounds? Um, the crowd was going nuts. Not just right? that, but like some people were like throwing hats on the uh, on the grandstand, like from the top. Oh no way! They were throwing like hats. That's why I got that vape hat that I have right now. Oh. Uh, vape Tasha hat. Isn't that Force Wang sponsored? Yeah. Oh, so it was the sponsors that were throwing the hats to the crowd. Yeah, and people were. Dude, that's sick. And they were having that James, uh, James, um, my like force wings like cut out, and they're like bringing it onto the grandstands. Everyone was going nuts. See, that's that's the way to interact with the audience, dude. Like that's that's fucking badass, man. What's that brand called? Uh, Vape Tasia. I th I heard Force Wang and I love it. Forrest Wang is the uh, driver of for that team. And he's, he's a, from Hawaii. Uh, and and yeah, it was the Wang bit that made me laugh. <laughs> he's basically a god, I guess, for fans in FD. Okay. okay. Looks like we found our man. No, because <laughs> he came out of hiding finally. No, because here's the thing. Um, his story was pretty interesting because when I first heard FD, there was this like controversy for like favoritism, something like that in FD. It was oh fuck yeah, there was. It was. Oh, I mean, there was. It there was, was. It was between um, him and. Forsberg, because Forsberg got easy. He ended up leaving FD for like a year, and then he came back, and everyone was just happy that he came back. Yeah, that was last year actually, where he wasn't even competing in our Formula Drift. And when I first walked into the paddock looking for Forrest Wang, just because I'm just like, you know what, I kind of look for everybody, take a picture of the car, see what they got, blah blah blah. Um, see your fruits. I really enjoyed the interview. <laughs> Trust you guys. Hope hope everyone in the so-called greatest commentator oh, back on soon. Oh. Come on, you know that was a joke. Well, I'm gonna need the two of you for when I eventually do the 24 hours of Nerva drink, so. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Greatest commentator Full back 20. soon. <laughs> um, in all seriousness, um, yeah, pretty much, like, when I was walking through the paddock, I was like, where the hell is the 808 car? I was like, the, the paddock felt empty without his team in there. And, like, when I saw him back this year, I was like, okay. I didn't know why he actually took off until you mentioned that. I was like, okay makes a little bit more sense because dude they would give the win to Forsberg every single time for calls that weren't I mean like the calls were just so garbage that's why they changed it it's still garbage a little bit but it's more decent I guess I mean heck Force Wang actually beats James Dean so that's not all bad luckily dude Dean fucked up his run dude and like James Dean is the type of driver who rarely makes mistakes like that, dude. He's really smooth when it comes to just his driving in general. I was, that's what shocked me the most. I was shocked too, and I, um, if you, if I actually, I actually record that too, he was just going straight at that, that turn, and everyone was just losing their nut, like, losing it, including me, because I was recording it. I was like, holy shit. Dude. Oh, dude, you have, post that, dude, post it on YouTube. I want to see that. I want to see that reaction. Did he sure. pull out too early? Of the corner? Oh, uh, no. He just, he just didn't turn. No, the joke was because he shares his name with a porn star, pulling out. That's the damn stuff. I, I, I don't get it. What? No, something about James Dean being a porn star, what are you talking about? It's what? A, some, oh wait, hold on. Who said he had, he shared the name with a porn star? You. I did. Oh, yeah. Oh. I know, I'm kidding about not getting it. Oh, okay. Oh. God damn it, we all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we are so bad. <laughs> Our chemistry is like 100, but also zero sometimes. Way yeah. But, um, yeah, when I saw that, I was like, holy shit, James Dean had a mistake. And the funny part is, not just him, but also his teammate. So, what I can. Oh, Peter Vizic? Yeah, so basically, one point, you consider that team to be like the Formula 1 of FD. Because of how they are set up to be. They messed up at the round 16, which is a huge surprise. What really shocked me the most in terms of Dean's fuck up is just that. You would think that somebody who's trying to go for their first championship 
would make a mistake like that. But no, dude, this is a dude who won the FD Championship as a rookie last year. And then this year, he nearly throws the whole thing away after, what, dominating this season? I know someone who's done that. Begins with S, ends with L. Damn. And it hurts. Uh, Sebastian Vettel. No! <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Van Dorn ends with L. It can. Maybe the L silent. Maybe no, the like... L is for how bad he's been this season. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I think he's taken like, like so, like he, he's not he, he hasn't out qualified a lot so once. We should have like a roasted channel. Like, this is funny yourself. So. It is funny. What would we call it? Uh. Uh. Hmm. Definitely not More on that one. <laughs> That's rowdy on actually. I put wets on. Do you, you, you ever watch the YouTube Championship back before it was WTF F1 on X Oh, I remember. Yes. Yes. It's my favourite part. F1 to do the Into the pit. We must go. E I E I E I O. Yes. Yeah, I like how he messes his tires during the um, Chinese yeah. Grand Prix. No. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, that was part. Sorry, game. We're just talking about the those YouTubers. Oh, I know. Yeah, <laughs> I actually don't know who those YouTubers are. To be honest, it Sorry. was it was Maggie. You said it was. Oh, Maggie. Oh, really? Maggie. Yeah. Are, uh, oh no way. Then... Tim McMardick. You see, I only know Maddie G from his WTF one stuff. Really? He, no, yeah, uh, he, he did really a lot of it. Own... He was doing uh, gaming before, and it was pure yeah. banter. Oh yeah. Do you know what? Uh, do you know what Manny called the Chinese Grand Prix? What? Chinese Grand Prix. Yes. <laughs> also, hung hungry Magyar Nagdich. <laughs> uh, it was this is why a good time. I was actually going to make fun about when when she gave me that mess of his tires, because Maggie messed his tires one time. It's not wet. <laughs> <laughs> it got wet on. Like every time the guy messes up, it's just pure like jokes. Oh, yeah. I always put words on. <laughs> and he called Arab uh, a massive cunt. Yeah, that is British banter. Yeah, that's why time like make jokes about ring racing. Like that's always be on. Like I'm just joking about stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that's what made me actually want me to buy a console back because back then when I was watching those YouTube channels, I didn't have a PS4. Yeah, I was the other way around. Well, I had a PC. I just have a. Well, I had a game PC, but I've got a better one now. And I would like to stream and do PC stuff. But I've got this really, really annoying issue that doesn't occur. Like it's weird because it's not the weird issue with OBS where I have stutters, and it's not like the game is perfectly fine. The vi but the video, the stream has like minute stutters every few seconds, and no matter what the graphics settings are or the resolution, I don't understand it. It's weird, and I haven't figured it out to this day, but hopefully one day I will. But I've tried everything, and it's sad, because there's so many shots, so many games I could stream and stuff, but... <sighs> oh, look, that depression. Sucks. Oh, look, 11 likes. Nice. 12 likes. Going up there, dude. Ooh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. It's honestly my favorite stream. Just, like, just all three of us just hanging out. It's pretty yeah. nice. It is pretty nice. And, um, feeling dead air, feeling dead air, feeling dead air. <laughs> Ooh, one pitting. Let's see who. Into the pits. Oh, damn it. Back we marker. Oh, okay. Into the pits. We must go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Uh. Don't forget that psychological advantage. Ah. Uh. I know what you're talking about. I leave the mic all the time. You have to live with the space. If I ever race the chicane again on G Sport, which probably could or not happen because support mode bullshit. Um, I'll definitely just say it's like a logical advantage for sick of jokes. <laughs> well, really, what I'm giving a break for sport is because, like, dude, the Blue Moon races have left such a bad taste in my mouth now that, like, I just want to take a break from the game. Like, I've never been that upset with the issues with the SR until the Blue Moon races. Like, they've always been bad, but, like, at that moment, I'm just like, dude, like, this is an oval track, and you can't do any oval-style racing on here anymore? Yeah. Like, come on. 
Now here's the funny part. I actually, I, I was talking about this on the messages, but I did the FI race with a Viper. Did pretty well. Oh yeah. Actually did very well. I mean, I just need to avoid like tapping someone. I mean, just avoid getting tapped, and you'll be fine. Just stay on the. If you're getting followed, just let them with the with the out the inside lane, and just help make sure it helps. Went for, went from 17th place to third place. Is the Viper OP in sport mode? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, in over racing, I see the patch was very good. The GT was insane before they patched it. The uh, the Spec 2 one. Yeah. But I hadn't told you what happened with the end last lap, because I told you that I got SR down <laughs> that one particular yeah. turn. Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay, so I was I was racing this GTR, right? Group 2 GTR. Yep. And he was following me in the last lap. I told myself I should at least block him. Because I don't want to like give him room because I don't want to be like, you know, let him get their place because this is my first ever FI race at the podium. Mm -hmm. Nice. Try to block him at the final turn. It was the reverse version, but so it's not like the past version. It's more like this. Oh, shit. So you're, going, you're turning right. Yeah. Wow, it's hard. I try to you know, block him at least like, you know, I'll try to attempt and I end up hitting him and he went almost went straight into the pit road. And in the minute when I saw I was like, oh, fuck, I did not mean that. And I'm like, shit, I guess I helped my other, the guy from like the air dodge viper because he was right behind the accident. He passed the dude and I, oh, well, I was taking up my penalty and I got still got third. So viper just got three, four after that. So, you know, psychological advantage, I guess? <laughs> we should all get together one of these days and do like a three-way three duel on some track. With like spec cars or something, that'd be fun. Just stream that would it. Be fun. I was thinking about maybe like shoot a, out. I was thinking because I know people are making like leagues out of this, but or attempt to make leagues. But. Fuck it, we can make our own league. Just do like loads of races, tally the points, call it the not the YouTuber Championship, <laughs> <laughs> the other YouTuber Championship. Also, I just almost I almost saw Fernandez age shit. That one other guy just pushed. Yeah, him. one of the Pescarolos yeah. pushed him off the way. Really lost it. I like that idea though. I'd love to do like our own little championship. Just stream it, have fun, or record it, or one of the two. No, nope, let's have me, you, Chicane, um, what was that or you, you two? I forgot his name. Marvin. Or, or you, you, you could just finally compete in ESTRL. Uh, True. But, but with commentary though. Yeah. <laughs> like, not I, I like I, I like it if it's just like, I don't know, because. A league is different to just like three three friends having fun in a race, but also trying to beat yeah. each other. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. It's got a different vibe to it. And do you be fun for us if we could have Marvin in there as well? Oh yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. We'll think about. Think it. Of, the thing of Marvin though is that. Uh, be a four way. Socks? No, I'm kidding. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> YouTube feud starts now. Uh, it's alright. I know where he lives. Oh <laughs> God. So Anyways, not. <laughs> We've got we the first nick established. Real... It's okay. I know. Go ahead. And... Uh. I know, that... know him in real life, Mikhail. I know that sounds like a waste. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, the thing with Marvin is that like, I, like he he did a league once, but dude, he's been so busy with like the stuff he's got going on right now in real life that like he doesn't really do a whole lot of GT sport anymore, which sucks. But it's just like at the same time you kind of have. Oh, yeah, you stand. understand it, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe next time we'll have time. <laughs> Eric just said, I, ju I just dropped in real quick to say that I just fired so deliciously. Well, see, what we're doing here is that, that, that we've inf we're infecting the viewers with our vibe of weirdness. And now they're sort of <laughs> projecting it back to us. Successful stream. We'd be good at propaganda. Would <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that be a propaganda? Russia should hire us as, our, as the propaganda ministers. It'd be brilliant. <laughs> Everyone would love Russia. Or they would call us mad idiots and call for us to be locked up. I'm guessing the second option would be the more. Yeah, the latter probably. Yeah. Did you hear about a little, sorry, uh, a few a few months ago, but apparently there was this group in Russia, the graffiti or something with Putin that like, had him with makeup on and apparently they would threaten to be arrested because they did that or something. <sighs> apparently. I mean. Wait. I have I I seen Putin with anime girls on like graffiti, so it's a point. <laughs> but it was him straight up with makeup and stuff. It was weird, but apparently the guys were threatened with being arrested or something for doing that. Yeah, that is pretty weird. 
I guess the, our dear brother, our dear leader does not like it. You see, it's <laughs> late. I fucked up the first bit, but I tried again. Okay. Speaking of, don't they call the uh, Koreans our dear, not Koreans, Kim Jong Un? Don't they call him our dear leader? Kim Jong Un. How on? Is it fucking Kimmy boy? They, uh, Kimmy boy. <laughs> don't, don't they say our dear leader, or is that just a meme? I think it's a meme. It's also. I think it's both actually. Yeah. You're just gonna get absolute news. Oh no, it, it is our dear leader. Cause I remember watching the video where the the propaganda video where our dear leader uh, flew an airplane by himself by just reading the manual. <laughs> oh my god, intelligence 100 right now. <laughs> god, we're getting some nuked right now. <gasps> So, uh, I'd love to. I'd love Hong to. Hong Kong 97 stream. <laughs> what? More like North Korea 97 at this point. Oh my god, North Korea 18. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'd love for someone to develop that just for a joke. Although at this point, I don't know if you could joke around with that, but it'd be funny though. Just like North Korea 18, it's like same style, just with different pictures. Yeah. I mean, nowadays <laughs> people just can't even make a joke, which is the sad part. Yeah, the, in 2018, you have to be careful sometimes of what you say because shit can trigger people. I mean, obviously, you know, there's a difference between joking and just straight up being rude and asshole, but, you know. Sometime... I mean, that's why I'm, like, so skeptical with people nowadays, because they're like, oh, you're offending me. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Oh my god, my feelings. Oh my god, shut the fuck up and <laughs> take it like a man. And instantly demonetized, banned off YouTube, destroyed by SJW feminists. Goodbye all, I'm dead. <laughs> They'll be here any second. <laughs> Oh, I can hear them busting through the front door now. Goodbye, all! Nice knowing you. I mean, I can understand the whole way. Oh, and God. for the record, obviously I'm joking, because... I don't know, I, 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 I... Sometimes I cover myself for shit that I'm obviously not gonna say or do, but I do it just in case. Yeah. You know, one, one day, you never know what that is. Oh, that's... Co-97, yes. That's, yeah, that, that... I said it specifically to make on our little chat, because I don't think he knows what that is. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, yes. I, I know everything about that, and I'm just like, okay. Pissed. I was just very pissed. GT5 doesn't even have anything on Hong Kong 97. Hong Kong 97 I is know. both the best shooter, the best action game, the best uh, single player game, and also the best sim uh, racing simulation game. And, and it wasn't delayed for six years. Yes, Ooh. good point. It was made in six minutes. SJW Venice. Feminists and millennials are the most sensitive over some jokes, yes. It's a lot of tanks. Yeah, I mean, and like, we're not, you know, we're not making any jokes to, like, upset yeah, we're, we're just not. being we're stupid. Just, we're just joking with each other. I'm, so, on feminism, I'm going to tread lightly here, but uh, I think there's a difference between the the re the proper feminists and the, like, the really over high, like, over sensitive, sort of uh, dramatized SJW feminists. Because apparently, well, apparently, the regular feminists, they are sort of battling for rights equally, but you get a lot of... See, the problem is, the feminists you hear in the news are always the ones that are sort of... that are really crazy and go over the top with everything. You don't really hear and, much about the, the proper ones, but... And, and they go... Guess yeah. that's the state media. And they always go for, like, video games, anime, etc. This is why I'm buying Japanese stuff, for a reason. It's video cool. games and cause violence. Yeah, that's why I've murdered three people on my street in the last day. <laughs> Oh, I wait, no, I haven't. <laughs> Aha, very funny. <laughs> I mean, this is, yeah, like, nowadays, I don't really, like, follow when, you know, like, Japanese, like, lewd stuff, but sometimes I'm actually considering binding because of those guys. Like, really, you don't like this thing? I'm gonna buy this thing. Well, a body pillar. Sorry to interrupt. Fernandez, you know, you know it would be nice if you actually draft the fucking cars in front of you, goddammit? <laughs> Just give him Why is he in one groove? Seriously, just get in the Holy racing line, shit. dude, and draft the cars for the just give, for love. Just give him a buy pillow, it'll work. I've never bought a body pillow, and I most likely never will, but I mean, what are they really for besides. Well, you can put a lot on a body pillow, I mean. What, no, what is the point of having a body pillow? Like, seriously, besides all the the, 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 the flare, not the flare, it's, but you know, you can put whatever you want on it. What the fuck is the point of it? It's just weird shit. And do you want to be the fine card? It's <laughs> Weep shit. Weep tree. And by the way, I am actually one of those people, so I just say it. But just imagine like putting like a Corvette seat in an hour and just put it on a bike go. Now that's 
some big shit. I heard no, cool. Corvette no, biped. No, because there have been jokes about Metal Gear Solid 6? <laughs> bipedal no. machine? No. <laughs> you know those suit like those uh, Ducky Mark Rest or bipeds, right? No. Well, body oh, pillows. I thought you said bipedal. Bo body pillows, I'm saying. Yeah. But you've seen those kind of things, right? I think I should. Yeah. Chicane when I was at Annie Expo. Uh, <laughs> nude! I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think I remember. But, um, what about him? just instead of like an anime girl, just put a Corvette season up in there. A Corvette on a body pillow? Yes. Wow. Okay. But seriously, who needs a body pillow? Like, you have a bed, lay on it. It's like, oh, no. Like, oh, who goes? I, looks at their bed to, yes, I need extra cushions. No, no there's already a pillow. It's called, it's called they need a waifu. Ah, so degenerates are living in the basement. Pretty no, much. Uh, well, <laughs> actually, yeah. I don't want to call up degenerates, but because you know, um, it depends. I would, I would probably be considered one, and I am a racing fan as well. So I mean, I don't know if I'd be called a degenerate, but I probably spend too much time gaming and doing YouTube than, than the average person would. So I guess we're halfway on the degenerate scale. Pretty maybe much. 70, maybe maybe sixty percent, seventy five percent. Maybe we'll see. Oh, well, well, no, we'll see. we won't see. Maybe we'll see, you know, and maybe some expectors will come around to my house and say, yeah, I'm going to test you, answer this question sheet, and if you <laughs> Eric, answer please. six out of eight questions, you're a degenerate. Ah. Sounds like some bullshit survey to the internet. Oh, look on your chat, by the way. On your right. I have oh. an anime body pillow with two holes. Oh, what are the holes for? <laughs> Don't you hmm. I wonder what they're for. So, wait, hold on. So what, does he have... Two uh, devices. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I don't have to say anything about it. You figure out your own. You grow one off his head or something. <laughs> I mean. So maybe, maybe, maybe Eric is an alien. He's an alien male. God damn it. <laughs> Play GT Sport online way better than GT. Well, you see here, um, Jesus. There's a problem. Um, you could, uh, you could. My, I, sorry, my my driver rating is too low and my SR is too low. Therefore, I get scrub. Put into crash lobbies. No, thank you, sir. By the way, regarding this bipo, you said it's pretty, it's my pretty that bad lately. I mean, GT Sport Online better than GT Five. I mean. To be fair, the servers in Sport Mode are better than GT Five Six lobby servers. I've noticed. Well, of course. Is there, yeah. is there but lobby, if yeah. I, but if I play GT Sport Online, we won't be able to have this fun conversation we're having. No. Good point. Also, what's with him talking talk about pipe bells being smart really bad? What are you doing with it? He probably it takes him to the sport. toilet with him or something. No, <laughs> it's even worse. And I don't have to say anything about it. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a picture of a girl on it. It's in his bedroom. <laughs> well. It's been smelling pretty bad lately. Oh, God. Um, Mate, <laughs> go out to the shop, buy a cloth and some water. Apply vigorously. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've seen some weird shit on the expo, on the expo this year. Like, who said it's a girl? Well, uh, you know true. what? Yeah. Whatever you like. It could be a gun. I mean, people have like Doc American those buy pills with guns, like laying out. Hey, look, people like whatever they like. I'm not judging. Maybe he, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a picture of a, I don't know. No, a you guys watch, No, it's probably a picture of a Toyota Seven. I think. <laughs> Just a picture of Chicane's face. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, I feel honored now. I know. I was gonna say, I'd, I'd... it'd be kind of weird to know that someone liked me that much to put me on a fucking pillow. <laughs> no, do what you should, should do, like a bi pillow of race car driver. Now that's kinky. Body pillow of cars. Ball pills. <laughs> Body pillow. Of cars. Two feet long. It'll be funny if it's like anything like Corvette or Bugatti or anything. <laughs> it's a PS. P PlayStation. Doesn't like Xbox. <laughs> PlayStation body pillow. <laughs> um, but what else? Talking about Corvettes. I heard they won the championship at Emza without winning. Oh yeah, that's crazy, dude. The, num the number three, right? Yeah, didn't win the race, but yet still wins the championship. And, consistency, my friend. and it's also the oldest car of the GTLMs. Okay. 
oldest car? Of, of the grid of GTS, GTMs, because I'm pretty sure we have the 488 Ferrari. We have the. Yeah, I would say, isn't, isn't the 488 the oldest? No. Everything's way, everything's older, like, for, like, newer than the Corvette, anyway. That's why they weren't doing what we want. Are they still using the old uh, C7? Well, they haven't got a new one out yet, have they? It's considered old by this time, because everyone up in, like, the 4GT, the Ferrari, the BMW, the big boy. Um, yeah. Seriously, though, I... Now I think about that, we should have a big boy uh, M8 uh, body pillow that makes perfect sense. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a body pillow of Black Panther. Oh no. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Bro, Hello. look at Toyota! Toyota 7! Oh my god! Look. Better than Toyota. The Toyota 6 came before this in Toyota 5. I've got a body pillow, mate. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, that's Slap Train. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sub train by Bellow, how's that going? Ali A body pillow. No. Oh no. I think I'd rather flay myself alive and hang myself. DSP body pillow, how about that? No. No, it just shout with you. How do I get comfy? <laughs> <laughs> you suck. It'd be the most demotivating. <laughs> it actually calls people to. Never mind. It'd put people into a depression, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Uh, do you want to just be good by pillow? Formula E car. Formula E body pillow? Yeah. What an odd stream this is. Like, I know we've said it a few times, but what the fuck? I <laughs> know. <laughs> just title this in block capital, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no. Slipper train is. Uh, no, slipper train sucks rancid. <laughs> Most of the forces out this voice when something so righteous not happens. I think she can agree with this, I think. Oh, now, which one of those guys could be I don't know which one it is. Or maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no, not Slapchain. I don't no. think I don't think Slapchain would wait. That's like, it's already. No, it's AI, isn't, isn't it? Oh, red arrows, that scares me. Instant turn off. Uh, red arrow. Hold on. Is it, is it, what's his face? AR. AR 15? Doesn't he do videos? AR 15. Hold on, wait, not AR. Have I got it wrong? I might be the dumbass. That's a gun. I know it's a gun. <laughs> I'm gonna say what? No, I know it's an assault rifle. Hold on. <laughs> you're so you're saying an assault rifle. A AR-12, sorry. <laughs> AR-12, not AR-12, not AR-15. <laughs> <laughs> Close, though. Close, but just to be soft. To be honest, you have anime girls having drawn YouTube, YouTube channels by this point, so I'm not surprised. So what, chicane san or something? Well, Chan. Because Chan is the, the child, but like you call a younger person Chan. I always call it uh, Kasuna AI. That is a thing. You should check it out, Chicane. It's a thing. All right. Hey, Barney, what's up? The slap train sucks rancid ass. You must be forced to his That's what we said. So right, just not happen. That's what we said. Right. The is music. Sl yeah. Slap train is the perfect like. I idolize slap train in the sense of that like. I want to not be like oh, him. Oh, sorry, I've got to intervene. I've just got a comment from someone, and the dude look like, looks like an African wolf in his profile picture. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, <laughs> hold up. I'm going to send you this image. Oh it said sick God. video. But yeah, I, I I look up the slap train as the person that I do not want to be, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, that's What's up, everyone? Really... Well, I, I might still be sub to him. Oh, never mind, it's the man from the Tap Your Temple meme, or Tap the Temple meme. Can't do that if you don't get the point. You know the meme where he taps the temple? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay, it's not an African warlord. Oh. Shame, <laughs> but also good. <laughs> just imagine an African warlord just watches your video and like... I like your video. I like, I like it. Would you, like, like, would you like to make an investment? <laughs> Like, please donate to my please donate to my phone there. Eh? I, I have a broken broken laptop. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the last oh time. Oh my god! Draft the leader! Come on! I am the king of Nigeria. <laughs> Sorry, Nigerian prince, because you know, prince. Yeah, Nigerian prince. Yeah. Fuck it. Maybe he is. If people are gullible to that, they're, they're gullible to, to to accept the fact that he's. To know it, to know himself. You get the point. He's called himself a okay. king. This is going off topic. Not that there was a topic in the, to begin, so I guess it's part of the course. 
it's a exhale and go and to now, some and, awesome. now, and now everyone's saying hi hi um hi 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 oh my god new people let's <laughs> freak them out what's up mania welcome to the stream how's it going hey uh mikhail do you, do you, know, you have you watched black pan yes why do you like do you like his chat voice uh overreacting as well but his fails are pretty entertaining I liked his chat voice, it's funny. Yeah, he does a react a bit, but his chat His chat uh, voice is funny, isn't it, boys? That's uh, 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 probably the first time I've heard the word chav is a thing. Chav, we, okay, we call them in England, we call them chavs. They're like, they wear hats backwards, they rice their cars out like fuck, and they talk funny. And it's basically, those, it's basically the rice that we have, but in the UK, right? Is that huh? what it is? It's, just like, it's like basically the rice that we have here in the United States, but in the UK. Probably. Except the yeah, I don't. They, they speak deaf. They speak a lot different from the UK and the US. I would hope. But Hold on a minute. Wait. Spook cuts. Yeah, let me just uh, rephrase that because I'm tired and I'm saying things that I really don't really mean to say. Although I do mean to say. It. Fuck. Why is uh, the message retracted? What happened to it? He deletes it himself. Okay. So. No, but what I meant is. Oh my god. I assume they're going to share the same accent. <laughs> yeah, let's move on to this because it's better than what I was trying to go I had a test where I had to list cause of this. She yelled at me when I misspelled Nigeria. <laughs> oh. Mm. Rip. Nigeria. Ah, uh, jokes. Why are running the Why am I running so I just have an 500? Because, because there's the no internet. IndyCar. We don't have any There are no Indy cars in this game. And every other car, there's only about like seven open cockpit prototypes. And I figured, eh, the only other open cockpit race car is a Can-Am car. So, I had this Toyota 7, I figured, eh, I might as well run it. If we lose the race, this race has been entertaining enough to keep in the LP. And I'm yeah. probably just going to edit in the final lap with a Red Bull win, honestly. <laughs> I missed the joke by saying two men. By the way, what what are your guys' opinion on clickbait and the state of YouTube these days? I'm very interested. I mean, if it's the chicane to clickbait, I don't mind, but I'm talking about like, fake YouTube. No, I, I don't know, man. Like, it's something I personally wouldn't do because it's just like. No, obviously... I wouldn't do it no matter what. Like, I, I, I like yeah, my morals. I, I. It's that, and I don't give a shit about numbers dude like if my channel would just only reach 250 subscribers and that's it i wouldn't care because yeah, really yeah. i like i do this for fun same you know? but yeah and the don't... people who Sorry. What? no continue, continue. And, and the people who want to just try to like get the cheap views as much as possible yeah. i like despise that heavily it does bug me a little bit that you know you put a lot of effort to video and you see one that's got less effort it's obviously over 10 minutes it's for ad revenue and it's got it's just so clickbait and it doesn't do you know why i kind of hate about youtube when people are just like you know being massive jerks in general yeah what do you hate um how can i say this something of something japanese suicide for has been an absolute cut there ah logan sees paul a sees a dead body and then says, oh, look at this it's a dead body that was that was dumb that was so stupid i mean anything in japan was stupid to be honest Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. And anything in Japan was stupid. No, you mean like that he did. Anything. Oh, that okay. he... oh yeah. I was gonna say what? No. Look, here's what. Ironic. Thing. I'm for a man who uh, claims himself to be a weeb. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I like Japan. I actually want to go there, but what so happened? Why? Because here's the problem. But he, Jake Paul did, or Logan Paul, decided to scream, be a massive fool of himself. Um, what else? Throws up, like pokeballs on everyone in the street. By the way, right? Everyone's, no, I, everyone's looking like what the fuck is this? I don't like either of them, but Jake is probably a little bit worse. Apparently, he was like he was a terrible neighbor, doing making tons of noise, fucking setting up setting a fire in his pool for God's sake. <laughs> what like what kind of dumb shit does that in LA? Like, dude, it's called, get over yourself. It's called rich people. We expect. Uh, you know, uh, uh, someone needs to teach him some humility. I mean, not all rich people like that, I will say that, but still. Logan is very <laughs> slightly better. Not what it's like, like his old video style. No. 
But like in terms of being a very, very, very slightly more mature. But I think Logan's older anyway, so. Oh no, and then you have like people that like flex their money and everything, not just YouTube but Instagram. Uh, God. <sighs> my soul slowly drains from my almost lifeless body when I see those. Every time I see it, I see them just like, oh, for fuck's sake, go fucking off yourself. I don't say that all the time, but I just hate it. So dumb, hey, like. Guess what, guys? What? <laughs> we're on the we're on the lead lap now. Yeah. I'm ah. serious. We're, we're we're back on the lead lap, although we are about a lot. Vargas behind. right now is about 22 seconds behind the leader, but with the way that the strategy is going, we still might have a shot. You got nice tires. You got good tires. Yeah. And Eric just says, Hell, I, I, <laughs> de depending on what the tires are like, we might not even need to change tires. Maybe I'm mm. gonna gamble and just not even change tires and then like the last stint. Look what Eric just said. Said I said I was leaving an hour ago. Damn you guys! Damn you guys! Bye. Bye. Yes. yes. Is that gonna be the closing closing thing? It just cuts to black. Yes. <laughs> no, just see, just see that at the end of the stream or video. That will oh. work it. God yeah. Damn it, dude. Ever since you mentioned fucking DSP, I can't stop thinking about how do I use this rash? I mean, stupid. <laughs> I just heard a button. I was like, yeah, forget, forget about this guy. DSP. You know what? I'm going to make a... Hey, Chicane, are you still there? Are you alive? Uh, no, no. Am, am I alive? I'm going to make a special MGS2 difficulty thing, image, with DS, dedicated to DSP. <laughs> oh, so Mikhail, USC veteran here, is ah, yes. a whiz at Photoshop. Oh, thank and you. Oh. Yeah, yes, you are. I, de definitely... I definitely need you in case I need some Photoshopping. <laughs> I mean, I got, I'm like, I got a lot of good ones too for good memes. But um, no, but yeah, like, and what's cool is that he actually goes and like, let's say, Metal Gear Solid Two: Sons of Liberty, for example, he gets like the uh, he takes a picture of the difficulty selection screen, and somehow, some way, with his magic, he literally goes and makes up his own modes <laughs> and adds them into the game. And I'm like, dude, how the fuck do you do this? Like, <laughs> this is, this looks like the real thing. And before he puts in the, ch the chicane mode, he, oh yeah, funny thing you mentioned I did. that. What do you think? Hang on. I'll show fine. you right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get it. There you go. I think I need you for those um, Photoshop set. Sure. I'm dug up last time. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> please read it from please, top to bottom. Please do yeah, not. Read it from top to bottom. Please. Read it from very top to bottom. Right, yeah, read it out loud. Please do Read it out loud, yep. Alright. Alright, Hosh, I need to like, make sure I can see everything. Okay, no worries. All right, do, 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 do. all right. Very easy, easy. Extreme European extreme, black hole extreme. Crash shake insane, super fucking insane, super fucking insane extreme. The movie shake extreme. The Earth becomes flat and times were and times were on as oh Jesus Christ. And what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is my favorite one? It's like the game doesn't know what to do. Who's mad enough to select this? <laughs> I can make a Mikhail extreme if you want. It's just like body pillows infest the entire big shell. <laughs> oh my god. Made for weeps oh. only. Hideo Kojima personally executes you. Wait, can I post this link on... Um, can I just post it on the, on the YouTube channel? On the chat? So yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can do it as well. I... Yeah, go for it, please. Oh, it's a smaller image, but that works out. No, actually, do it not. Weaves only racing fan, and then weaves as well. Only. Gotta be make it more hard for everyone. Oh, hold on. Wait. If I click open original, this should work. No, never mind. I say whatever. It works fine. I'll just post it. There you go. Hope do that works. There you go. <laughs> I love how the file is called End Time. Stop JPEG. <laughs> 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 Uh, you could just make you could just make a lot of memes for us for me and uh and chicane. If you Probably want I'll make them. Oh by the way, speaking of, I made my own logo the other day. Ooh, nice. It's simple but it, it's effective. It's, hold on, let me uh, pop it in the uh this I mean, corner. Chat. Or not chat. You got you got have, you got these simple stuff that actually works because I've seen people like being so over the top. Don't worry. You like these. Alright, bet logo final white. Why is it here? Oh, it's right because battle. Bet, bet, 
No, vet, veteran. Vet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice, dude. It's all made from scratch in 4K, so no need to redesign it at a higher resolution also. So. Looking good, dude. I like it. See, now I had it with just the lines on the left and then just to the right. Someone suggested, like, uh, on the left and then how you see it now with the one on the inside right, and I quite like that, so I went with it. Yeah, I like the black one as well. See, I made a black one just so it fits with everything, you know. M4, that's in M4, that, that logo is in my cards for GT Sport. It what? Those, the logos that you made, just put yeah. it in my car. I can just, like, promote while racing. <laughs> I mean, if I made this, I, I don't know if I could... I don't even know if it's possible, like, if, if I could save it as a... I can Actually, save it as a vector graphic, but I don't know. I don't know if that would... Would... That would be interesting if like every one of us have like a different a different logo like for our decal and then just put on our cars. Because I know Marvin does his. Yeah, Marvin Marvin has a really cool one. I'm thinking what, what could be my logo. I have no logo at all, to be honest. Mick. <laughs> just Mick. <laughs> Mick twenty four, uh, just boom like that. No one comments just ah uh, okay. Yeah, I figured I figured that'd be the most effective way to actually um, address people who are no. directing their attention towards me because I don't want to interrupt yeah. you guys. But um, you know what? I'll talk about the race. The, the only time we're talking about the race, this whole entire race. Um, my guess now is I think Rossi is gonna pit any time soon, just judging from his fuel, because they usually pit when it's halfway empty. Yeah. And I think by the time that Rossi pits, Vargas might pit at the same time, and then we'll probably get ahead of him in the next cycle of his stuff, so we have a chance to. Oh my. Seems like an outside shot, but hopefully we can win, because it'd be better than losing. Yeah, I sent, you, uh, I sent an image in the Discord chat. It's a thumbnail I made for my recent Oh my god. Already. Oh my god. Shimmy's here. <laughs> Not even winning SMH. Well. <laughs> Well, Guess what? I go. screwed up my own. I screwed up my own strategy. Come on now. I accidentally put hard tires in the front and then softs on the rear. So. Jimmy yeah, the stupid. goat. Wait, didn't I call myself the goat? So we've got two goats. <laughs> no, we have no. we have like five goats. Me, you. Yeah, five goats. So me, you, Jimmy, everyone in chat. Nah, you banned from YouTube? Nah, nah, nah. We all, to be You're banned from the channel. Get out of here. Holy shit, dude. You have. Okay. Get out of here. That's either tilted him for the rest of time, <laughs> and he's going to make several rant videos on your channel. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. This is the day. This is the day that the movie Chicane and Jimmy Broadman feud. Dude, this is truly the end times. That that that, that was accurate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to do By the way, I don't think he has the. Uh... Yeah, he doesn't have the mod status. Give him the mod status back. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I can give, give him the mod status, at least. No, I can't. Even not. Okay, I guess. <laughs> Some moderators can. Well, no, never mind. You can't. No, in, moderators can do more things. Though. In before, Jimmy makes it like a big deal, and then we have Jimmy versus TMC. <laughs> I'd make, dude, I'd make a poster audience, for that. Dude, his audience would destroy me. I'd, like, I'd make a poster. <laughs> uh, Jimmy I can't, afford, TMC. I can't afford a feud with someone like him. I could probably feud with, like... You maybe vet or Marvin, but not him. No, no, <laughs> I'm no. Outnumbered at this point. Jimmy versus TMC in Madison Square Garden. Oh my god. <laughs> and that it's strictly one. three point contest, shot contest. It'll, <laughs> so. it'll, it'll still be perfect. <laughs> better than KSI and I have like Fox, don't worry. Oh, yeah, it, well. I have no energy for arguments, so you'd probably win. <laughs> By the way, Jimmy, uh, I, I think it's cool that you can come around to these. Uh, you know, these smaller streams. Because I know a lot of big YouTubers. Yeah, they're very busy, they don't really have the time, so... On behalf of all smaller YouTubers, I want to say thank you. Yeah, seriously, man. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice It's nice that you stopped by, like, a few months ago, and then it's nice you stopped by again, which I appreciate, man. Seriously. Hey, Formula, what's up? Alright, so we should be... But I think... But seriously, I think Vargas can win the race. If Rossi and Vargas put at the same time, I think we can keep Vargas out. And like the last cycle of pit stops, and I think you can still get it, despite my horrendous mistake halfway through. Hold on, it's okay. Right, man. Just See, the that's not in text, and it looks a bit. <laughs> I thought that wouldn't be an imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, there was, there was a funny thing. Uh, that, or actually, not, not a funny thing, a terrible thing that happened on uh, PS4. Someone was dropping messages? emojis. On, yeah, messages. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, it's, a, it's a bricks and console, so 
Yeah, it was. What? I think what it is is the PS4 doesn't support one of the. It's a certain text string or whatever that the PS4 doesn't support. It basically bricks the console. The way, the only way to fix it is by either setting a message to private before, because just receiving the message fucks your console. So what you do is wait. You don't even have to open the message no, no, no. in order for it to. You what? Re receiving it. So what you do is. You set your message to private beforehand, or you uh, you go on the app and you delete the message, and then you restart your console, and apparently that fixes it. So, and the real issue is that for those who are playing like say six, like Rainbow Six Six or Fortnite, their game is mostly affected. Wait, so it's not even like something that you have to open. It's not even like a detailed code or something. It's just no, a no. fucking emoji. Yep. What? It's an emoji that the PlayStation obviously doesn't support when it goes haywire. Hey, oh my god, dude. It was crazy. Emojis. It was crazy. Emojis have emoji to ruin game. everything, bro. The emoji movie and then this. Come on, dude. Emojis are ruining everything. That movie I mean, was... Dude, that, that was movie. Was I didn't even see it, but it was literally shit. Literally shit in the trailer. Heck, I'm current Honda would do better than the emoji movie, so... <laughs> no, I think the emoji movie is still more reliable than the McLaren Honda would ever be. Ooh, ow. ow. I see, that was me going to say outplay, and then I realized I should change it to you overplay. Know, it sounded like it, I was it's missing. Funny, it, it's funny to think about like the Emoji movie, because forever in Patrick Stewart's life, on his IMDb, his role in that movie is literally a piece of shit. Like, think about it. Like, oh, what have you done? Like, hmm, okay, okay. Like, you played a turd? Like, all right. <laughs> uh, imagine one, yeah. there's going to be, there's one guy in that, so that's all this looks is going to be, the Emoji movie. <laughs> <laughs> God, that movie is horrible. But anyways, uh, if you still here, um, dude, it's just a fucking Wreck It Ralph ripoff. That's all it is. I know, but uh, Jimmy, how are you doing today? Um, seems to seems to be real. pretty good. I like it. Uh, hey, Jimmy, if you're still here, can you not? Oh wait, can you or can you not confirm that the America Finals are going to be inside SEMA? Because if it is. I can't go. <laughs> if it's outside of SEMA, hopefully, then I hope I'm it's out. Go. I hope it's outside of SEMA. So Hashtag get chicane to the finals. <laughs> as a spectator, uh, as a journalist. No, hold on. No, I'm, I'm going to start this hashtag. I'm just uh, just so wake super early. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. It's up morning up. for you guys. It's 7:20. It's morning for you guys. It's evening for us. 7:21 in the morning, and I haven't slept yet, but. I did wake up at 8 p.m. So. Oh, you know, it's a funny thing because it's okay because Kaz is actually part of my B spec team, even though he's not driving this race. He's fine with it. I talked to him. Oh yeah, let's just. Let, oh yeah, we can't remember. Can't forget that I have S. Dot Iwata and M. Dot Tyson, my drivers. Get shit came to the finals. <laughs> I mean, actually, one of my friends from my like DTSRL, uh, one of my leagues, uh, he's going there. So that's gonna be cool. Yeah, but I'm wondering if it's going to be inside SEMA or not. Because if it's inside SEMA, I can't get in. Like, I can probably think of maybe one or two people who I can try to get me into SEMA. But if it's, like, I'm, if it's somewhere, like, in the Mandalay Bay esports arena that he used for EVO, then, like, perfect. I could probably go as a spectator or something. But if it's inside SEMA, nope. Well, I, hope, I hope you get there. It'd be awesome. If it's out there, I mean, if it's out there, can I go into your trunk so I could go with you? You go into my trunk. <laughs> Good lord. You're going to suffocate in there, boy. It's okay, I'll just put a hole in before they make the back seat. I'll be right here. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Dude, my... Dude, if I, if I drive there, dude, my Eclipse is just gonna blow up by the time I get to, like, Apple Valley or Fontana, dude. That thing's so unreliable. You have an Eclipse? Yeah, an 03 Eclipse GT, my friend. Ooh. Nah, you'll make it. Yeah. Don't worry, you're fine. <laughs> dude, that thing's broken down on me twice when I've gone to the Inland Empire. I'm not trying again. Fuck that. Especially not to Las Vegas, dude. Fuck that shit. Right just trying down the middle of the desert. <laughs> Let's run a Ferrari, that would work. Ran a Ferrari, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably be asking Ambush to help me with that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll just arrive in style in Vegas. <laughs> and then everyone's gonna look at us and like, I don't think I'm just like, Yeah, they're gonna look at us and be like, who the fuck are these people? Did the movie Chicane and Kelsey more for the flexing? Who? By the way, uh, 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 Chicane, I uh, what's up? I popped uh, an image. I don't know if I if you saw it. I oh, right, you you told me. Oh, the Dark Souls one. Yeah, yeah. I just sick. That's the. By the way, Jimmy, I, I do apologize. I, I do apologize to everybody. You know, like I can flex it because I'm not that of an ass to be honest. 
Nah, he, he kind of is. Nah, he, he kind of is. Yeah, fuck Mikhail. Dude, yeah, get, get, get out of the stream. Yeah. 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 Go to bed, Mikhail. You too. Oh my god, you guys are gonna be so done. You're so done. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. Dude, if I get J. Christ in B spec, holy shit! Oh, holy, holy <laughs> okay. shit! Uh -huh. That would be amazing. I have G I have Jesus Christ in Dark Souls Remastered, so I'll carry him through to Dark Souls <laughs> too. Is Christ a name you can get? Let, let's find out. But, well, Jesus Christ in GT GT five. All right, list of possible B spec names: Christ. Wait. Uh no, sadly not. You can only get Christian Sin, Christian, or Christian Sin. All right, it's J. Dot Christensen, the Dutch version. <laughs> the Dutch version. Undercover agent, Jesus oh. Christ, Jesus Christensen. <laughs> is there uh, Jeff Gordon in the beats back? Uh, is there Gordon? Let's see. There is Gordon. Oh, yay. So, basically, all 26 letters of the alphabet can be the first initial, obviously. And last names are, are randomly chosen, as you know. And there's only a specific list of names, and the list is on GC Planet. I'll send you the list right now. That'd yeah, awesome. I've been on that one before. That'd be awesome to have Jeff Gordon in my team. Yeah, actually, um... What did I get? Um, Didn't you have J. Bianchi and went past him by accident? By accident, yeah, but then I got F. Alonzo, so, uh, so... we're good. You got an upgrade. <laughs> Reckon you can win this? I think so. I mean, the thing is, is like... We're pitting... We have like 20 more laps in our stints, our stints, our stints than the other cars. And I guess that if we can, you know, if we can stay out somehow and like cruise to victory, I think we can win it. If we don't, what I'm just going to do, Jimmy, for my let's play is I'm just going to edit in a win with the Red Bull or something because the conversation that I've been having with these two have been so fucking hilarious that like, I don't want to leave this out. By the way, it is so sad that Bianchi died. It. Yeah, dude. That, like, he was such that a talent. That broke my heart, dude. That broke my heart big. Time, that was. Man. It was also a freak accident too. Yeah. If that truck wasn't there, alive. If, if the well, safety car was out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they pulled Vietnam for that. I thought. Because I of what, that. I tell you what. I tell you what. The went first. I was like really sad. I was actually crying. It was that bad. Oh, we're in the lead. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna have the pit soon, but. Should I change tires, boys? Oh, well, no, vet, check. check. Talk, talk oh. to JT. I think he knows what to do. Nah, he, what does he know? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Shots fired. Pow, pow. Holy shit. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> please don't, please don't yell at me, Jimmy. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Um, let's see here. Should I change tires? I don't know, because, like, Gus's idea of soft on the front hards and the rear have been have been working so far. Yeah, and look, I've only have half degradation in the back and like a quarter of degradation in the front. Good thing they're not Pirellis. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, these are not those. Um, what was that tire that was messing up during 2005 F1? Uh, uh, Michelin. 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 Yeah. US. At at last quarter they went bang. At least we don't have those tires. We're good. Good. Oh, Mikhail. Fun, funny thing. Do you remember the uh, tire debacle Please, no in no Indy in 2008? No, yes, I remember. So, interesting fact, UFC. Um, in, uh, not IndyCar. F1 is not the only series to have tire problems at Indy. NASCAR actually had a huge tire debacle in 2008, where I think the tires only lasted, like, what, 10 laps, Mikhail? Yeah, and then cars, and then there's, like, blowing up everywhere. I think there's, like, damage everywhere. So they had to throw out safety cars, like, every 10, 15 laps, dude. And, dude, that, that race, holy crap. Like, I never watched it in person because at that point, that's when I kind of gave up on NASCAR, to be honest. Like, mm -hmm. I, I know, stopped I... watching around, like, 2004 and then started watching again recently, like, 2016. But, um, besides the point. Um, I think that race yeah. in general killed NASCAR and Indy. Because right, yeah. right, oh, right after that, absolutely. right after that, it was bad. Except maybe, like, the time when Gordon won, but that's it. Oh, in terms of, like, audience or what? And it's more like popularity. So no one cared about Indy after, like, during, like, like before and after Gordon's win. Oh shit, dude. I mean, you literally had you literally have tons of people at IMS watching a parade, dude. That's what it was. I mean, and just remember back in 1994, that was packed. 
and we're talking about like I ain't messing filled there. grandstands, yeah. like sold out seats, dude. No, dude. And now look at Indy. Ugh, it looks empty and nasty. It got way worse this year too. Oh, I know. I'm everywhere. <laughs> There's more of a crowd in game than there is at Indy. Like, have you seen this? <laughs> have you seen like, this year? Jesus, I have this. Um, it was raining. Oh yes, it was raining at Indy, and then um, it was also clear. Yeah, they had to race on Monday, dude. dude you, you know the sad part about that is that Indianapolis Motor Speedway and NASCAR tried to do some like idea of like trying to bring fans back, so they had like some sort of like shows on for the whole weekend. They had like a country, they had like a country concert, they had a bunch of stuff, dude. And it rained the whole weekend that they didn't do any of that stuff, and they raced on Monday when practically everyone left. Yeah, it was pretty dumb. Last time that happened, something like that in F1 was Australia 2014 or 2013. I think it in was 14. Because what they did is the qualifying. That's a, that that's a postponed the qualifying to the uh, Sunday morning, I believe. Huh. Because it was so wet. One lap for me, Jesus. God damn it. Les. What were you doing? I don't, wait, hold on. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Love. You got it in the end. The struggle was real. I know, right? Me and my incompetence. All right, we're pitting. I still have the so... record on GT Sport, by the way. I checked the other day. I'm so... nice. So who's in the race? Alonso. He's... Should I change tires? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, just for this. Then, yeah, and then final stop. Uh, no tires. That front bumper is fucked. Like, look at the dirt from it. I think this is actually our last stop of the race because... It just popped in out of nowhere. <laughs> we have 38 laps to go and our stints are usually about 41, 42 laps. Those guys are going to pit around lap 180. Look at this pit of road, Jimmy. Look at this. That fuel. Yeah, going across the body of the car just to uh, make it more slick. <sighs> Look at that fuel, man. It is dumb though, like... Well, not. I mean, I guess it's not dumb because you know, but it's funny that's how it goes across the. It's not. It's nowhere near. It's Come on. Magnetic fuel for the win. <laughs> <laughs> the guy is pouring fuel at the cockpit. That is a strap. I hope I didn't do full fuel. Let's see. I was joking. Uh... I was joking earlier about Alonso wanting to drink gas. <laughs> Guys pouring fuel in the cockpit. That's the start right there. That's a strat right there. <laughs> Alright, Alonzo, please do not blow up on lap 180, for the love of God. Oh yeah, it's almost like lap 180. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, oh, he's got orange gloves. I like the attention to detail. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately in GT5, you can't get any gloves more slash. suits. Yeah. Only through online events, which don't exist anymore. So, yeah. yeah, I just had to use what I had. I mean, at least, at least in GT4, we have, like, you know, you can make your own logo thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I have a McLaren Honda suit that I made, 2015. Honestly, I'm surprised the suits weren't like that bad. Like when people make it, I thought it was gonna be worse. Like people make like jokes and everything. Yeah. So check this out, guys. Leader Wa uh, Waters or whatever his name is. Waters. He's actually he's close to putting us a lap down, but we're just in front. That's actually what I wanted to happen. So we have a shot at winning. We legitly have a shot at winning the race. F Waters, lol. Let's see here, Mortensen, Yamasaki, Karen, Rios. Okay, let's check out the other guys. You know that uh, Raul guy that's Raul, the, the dude that you told me that his name translates to the best or something? Oh, Raul El Mejor? Who's cocky enough to make an ID that says they're the best? <laughs> <laughs> and then they end up losing the world record. <laughs> like, come on. It's called being a show off, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm trying to be as not as cocky in general, like going like in game. Oh, you, wanna... you know, sorry. Continue. But it's because it's going to end up like being backfired all of a sudden. Yeah. But you know they're bringing out the ability to change PSN names, so what he's going to change it to? Raul, I used to be the best, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> what, what would Raul, you second best. What, what will you do if you change your like your names? I'm gonna change my name. I'm gonna delete my other profile. I'm gonna change it from the UFC 33 to the UFC veteran. 
Or I'll keep it as is, I don't know. Because the USB 33 is kind of classic to me. I've had it for so many years. I, I wish I had I wish we had that feature a long time ago, because I would have changed yeah. like a lot of my accounts. But oh well. So good, good thing I didn't call mine XX Veteran XX. I would have oh, <laughs> good lord. Those those profiles were out. Mm. Holy crap. 2010, 2012, all over again. <laughs> they don't make them anymore. It's all it, it, they've gone from the XX and they change with I's or O's or just Z's. Well, sorry, nah. Z. It's probably more, mostly gonna be related to Fortnite. Z. It's probably gonna be related to Fortnite. Which, by the way, I don't just Fortnite. Just that I'm like, eh. I build big, uh, big trees. XX. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like you know those kind of games nowadays. I kind of used to it. I don't really like this them. Well, like Battle Royale in general, or what? Yeah, Dude, I mean, Blackout. I, 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 oh, oh I've Blackout, been, yeah. I've been so playing it's that. out now. Like, how is it? Oh, it's good. I played the beta. It's the, it's the VR game I've been waiting for. So, couldn't get along with Fortnite too much. Just wasn't very good at it. But I mean, Blackout, I know because it feels like COD. So it's kind of like the, the one I've been waiting for. Because I always love COD. So. I mean, I like watching people that like you know I played the game. I think, um, it's for example, Ambush. Good, yeah. Good guy, by the way. Oh, absolutely. Uh, but I just, I just don't like, you know, point it because I'm like, eh. I mean, raise his hand. <laughs> I think, I think it's probably because I hate those what's called Fortnite dances. My, my oh. oh, the, uh, yeah. the taunts or whatever. They have invaded real life to a point where I, that game is a cultural phenomenon. Yeah, it's either a cultural phenomenon or a culture. I don't want to say it, but apparently the kids do it in school now or something. It's... Uh, I just don't like when the kids are doing it. I'm like. Is this what... good, good thing there isn't 80, any sort of 80, 80 rated gestures, if you know what I mean. I don't know. But they, they can't really do that in a game like that. It's just that sometimes I just cringe a lot when I look at these things. Yeah. I mean, the people that play it, I think they're very good or you know, well known or like friends of us. I can understand. It's just that sometimes. Mean? It's just I don't like some people like make it too cringy. Talk about where I just want to like, yeah. yeah, pin myself on the wall. Could you, could you imagine if? Just out of the blue, Epic Games sort of they fold. Rockstar takes over the reins, and nobody knows. Oh my new God. emotes get introduced, new voice lines. <laughs> it's just shit from GTA. Could you imagine? All oh the no! Outrage. Oh no! Wait. They probably put a strip club on the map somewhere. <laughs> so good news right now. Waters is Dead. his emotion is well sort of his emotion is um, heading towards the blue, so he's driving like a fucking grandma right now. And Alonzo is in the red, so he's just falling ass around the entire track. So we're starting to pull away from the leader and not you put a lap down. Oh. I think we could. I think we're gonna win the race. I wonder if you put Alonso. If you put Alonso in a McLaren with a Honda engine, does it get, does the red go off the scale like the bar? <laughs> <laughs> it wraps around. Oh, by the way, 11 laps to go before the lap that everyone has to keep an eye on. 180. Oh, yeah, because the. Well, it's a Toyota. We're good. No, what would happen is the ball would go pink. <laughs> <laughs> Just pink at the end of the red. It overlapped with a mental strength bar. Imagine. <laughs> it wouldn't even be mental strength, it would just be how much resolve do I have against Hobbit? I think that's what everyone's going to keep an eye on when Alonso goes back to Indy. Yeah, 180. he's going to blow up. Why blow up at 180? He was doing well in Indy, I caught a little bit of it. He's quick, even in Indy, he's never Oh shit, Waters is catching up to Alonso. Oof. Oh no. Oh, uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's alright. But, um, if Alonso was still racing on that, open up the engine issue, I feel he would have been more competitive against Castro Neves, Sato. I, I... I'm sorry I have to disagree with that. Well, the reason why is because Alonso never got to experience the the true part of the Indy 500, which is the last 20 laps. And every single friend that he made in, during the first 180 laps of the race, they would have all turned on him. Just like what happened to Rubens Barrichello, just like what happened to every single other F1 driver, like Nigel Mansell when he came to IMS to race the Indy 500. Okay. I wouldn't say that he would be super competitive. It's not like I would say, like, oh, he would just win straight up. No. I'd say that he'd be competitive, but I think he would learn the hard way on how people would really race him. Because if you saw during the race, he was obviously working with Rossi, with Sato, with Kanan, with all these other drivers. And then lap 180, once lap 180 one comes around, 
flick of a switch, it's a whole different race, dude. He'll probably be dumped by AF Jones, I think. You never know. Yeah, dude, what Jones is, was really good. Like, that's like the biggest disappointment of last year or this season for me for IndyCar. Like, Ed Jones with Ganassi, like, I don't know if it's just nothing clicked or what, but like, I thought Ed Jones was going to do really good with Chip Ganassi, but nope. But at least we got uh, Russell Quiz. Oh, you better, hell yeah, you dude. You better be excited. Oh, dude, I'm over the moon about that. Like, you seriously. Better, you better buy those Hunt Beach tickets, bro. You better. Every single year since 1999, dude, I've been going, come on. It'll be the first, it's, it'll be the first one. It's, it's pretty much, it's an, it's a requirement of the year for me, dude, to go to Long Beach. Uh, I've just seen something from Jimmy. It was up earlier up in the chat. I don't, I don't, well, I think I, uh, it right. was talking about, you, you asked him if he could reveal where it was. He said, I can't do anything. Or Cass will come to my shed and break my legs. Cass <laughs> breaking his legs. Oh, just and then that's when I told him that Cause Cause drives for my team, so ah. it's okay because I got permission from yeah. him earlier. I'm just imagining imagining Kaz with that ever, like that that permanent smile when he's revealing the game. <laughs> <laughs> Coming into like come to Jimmy with his shed, and then all of a sudden he just breaks his legs. Oh, he, he breaks legs, snap his leg while he snaps. Says, "Yes, very good." <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crunch, a horse. Crunch. No, that's a horse story I'll probably watch. God damn it. Spooky. Cars and the curse of legs. Come on, Fernando. Draft the leader, please. I don't know why he pulls out. Like, I don't know why he goes into the middle of the track. He needs to go on the outside. He's trying to spite Japan. Jeez. <laughs> well, um, what would be the most... What would be a core story for like, related to Sforza or GT? GT since it's on... We're based on October, right? GT now, so. sound design. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Just GT sound design. You hear that? Or rather, the lack of. <laughs> Every single car with racing exhaust. Good lord. God, the transmission wine was so much. You, you, hear, oh you hear the sound of a you know, sharp row, like 4 GT Sport. Yeah. You die all of a sudden. <laughs> Literally over all the engine notes. Just a wine. That wasn't that a wine, was That would probably kill people. <laughs> well. It could make your ears ring after a while. The yeah. GTR, like, with, if you upgraded the GTR, all you'd hear was the the whine. It was insane. Do you know what also be a horror story for like GT Sport or anything on the Forza? Rammers, oh. fucking rammers. People that was want to wreck you during a on race. On the Odyssey. Oh God. I know what you're talking about. That's why it got bad because of those people. Yeah, it was ramming it. It was a good car too, apparently, but people banned it, and they also banned the the Indy cars. What's where? I have curious. Really, I've, it was that bad? Yeah, people were still ramming, apparently, and Forza they decided to take out cars. I mean, I know it's Forza, but like they really took out cars, like from the multiplayer mode. Yep, that was the thing. Wow. Out of curiosity, Sorry, UFC, go ahead. Oh, yeah, out of curiosity, do they um? Do hybrids still exist in Forza now, or have they gone since the move to next gen? I don't Current know. Because in Forza Four, they were kind of insane. I mean, there was a dude on the internet that put like a eighty thousand horsepower engine into a Honda Civic. One of the destroyed literally everything in its path. No, I don't know if people made hybrids yet, but I'd be interested to see that. There was this one video. Oh my god, GT5 hybrids. I can't find it. I think it's gone from the internet. But it was hilarious. It was Scottish dude who had a Ventador hybrid. It was like, I remember, it was like, it, it was it was, it was the epic music, it was doing a wheelie on Route X, and he was, it was <laughs> shouting out the horsepower name, and he said, this car is from the fucking gods, or something like that. <laughs> Just flying at high speed, squealing. <laughs> do, you know what they, um, do you know what they need, Do you know what they need, GT4? Just what? Had, had changed engine from our cars, but I think they can't do it because it's FIA. Well, not only that, but like, don't forget the focus of GT Sport is like the whole, like you said, FIA. It's mainly focused on like the race cars and like the whole esports stuff. Because it's not a traditional Gran Turismo game. I don't consider it a main entry into the series. It's a spin-off, yeah. you know what I mean? I, so I don't really expect them to do all the customizations and all these different kinds of cars and stuff. I just feel like all the DLC we're getting now, I feel like it's, it's like maybe a kind of like a thing for GT7. I don't know why I feel that way. But I will say that. It's kind of odd. Yeah, go ahead. I will say, I think 
See, Kaz is such a purist. I'm not sure he's so warm to the idea of engine swaps and a ton of customization. I think he just loves cars and he doesn't really. Maybe he's not. Like, maybe on his own, he's not really too fond of sort of a ton of customization. He just likes them as they are. Because, I don't know. Maybe. Because GT5 didn't happen. So, or maybe, maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe they just haven't got around to it. But I feel, I feel like this. Because GT. G, uh, GT Sport sort of. It, ho it it looks quite classy, you know, quite professional. I don't know if you it is. people going around with fucking yeah. Corsa wing, like a, a Vauxhall Corsa with a big wing, and <laughs> <laughs> right, mate. People read so often that there's not like a, like you know regular cars because like oh, They're... where's my uh, where's my McLaren Senna? We haven't got the McLaren yet. <laughs> Like, where's my Gumpert Apollo? Like, why we haven't got it, cars? Like, funny there was customization in the uh, first ever trailer with the MX-5, and that's sort of gone. Oh yeah, that um, that is the N200 one. Yeah, I would love to have like an end like the uh, like the roadster with the cage and everything. I would try yeah, the, that. Yeah, the global MX-5 Cup car would be badass in GT Sport. We would definitely me, me, you, and maybe probably Marvin. We'll just make a team, and we'll just have it like, with our MX-5s. Like, you think about i like i racing. In Global MX-5 Cup, like especially the advanced one, because obviously rookies, rookies, and they have like Laguna Seca and Jefferson Raceway and whatever other starter track you get. But like the advanced MX-5 Cup is so much fun to drive, dude. Like when everybody knows what they're doing, obviously because they're not like, rookie leagues, and it's just a blast, dude. Like that's that car is like major proof that you don't need a super fast car to have a fun and competitive race. Like. Do you know what? Seriously. In fact, we need a uh, MX-5 in G Group 3. That'd be awesome. I don't think that'd happen. I think Group 4 sounds... No, but you know, it'd be great though, because here's the thing. GRX. <laughs> or, yeah, or that too, but... Beast Tom the you, Then again, you don't really expect an FT1 or, a, you know, a new Super becoming a Group 2, Group 3 car. Oh, shit. What's the old shit? I, oh, we're what? We're at the leader it only took tires. Oh, shit. This is going to be a really close race. Also, it's one at Vidi. Press up for Alonso in Indy 500. Um. <clears throat> come on, 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 Fernando. If we, if we get some back markers, yeah, we have a back marker ahead of the leader, so... Oh, this Let's see how this goes. Yeah, this is going to be really close. I don't think we're going to win this race. God damn it. <laughs> you fucked up with your thing. Dude, if I didn't if I didn't swap the tires by accident, I would have had this race win. No doubt about it. Good job. Well, well yeah. you might still have it, you never know. The <laughs> AI is so stupid sometimes that it might just spin randomly. A spin at Indianapolis? We haven't had one since like the first lap. Look, if my AI is if Iwata could Dude that B-Spec episode, where I did insane setups, the AI was so funny watching the AI not control it. <laughs> yeah. It was a riced out leaf. It, it, like, had oh, the, yeah. it had like I remember. insane hot ride height settings and the AI like it just couldn't control it. It was almost flipping. Brilliant. Starting everywhere. Do you know what I want for GT Sport? What? A Toyota Prius Group 3. Yeah, I'm sorry, I've got to stop you there on your track, sir. It's actually Prius, not Prius. Go out, go out. Get away with your Americanness. We're also, all British here. Eh? I mean, but seriously, though, they actually have a GT, they have their. Prius. Yeah, they have a, a racing Prius. I, I would love to drive that. I would love to drive that for free. That would be my car. Was, wasn't it in GT5 or 6? No. There was like a touring car. Yeah, touring. Yeah, there was yeah, a touring, touring car, but it, not necessarily a group. Not necessarily like a GT300 spec. Prius, not one that's like manual transmission and everything. It was literally still the hybrid, but a race car. Yeah, I want the Super GT Prius. So I can just use that just to control everyone. I'll use it for everything. I'll use it for ovals, race, road course, street course, everything. That'll be my car. I want to fit a rocket to my Mini Cooper. <laughs> Go flying on what the. Would, actually, what would be your good three car ever on Shikane? Like, ever. Hang on. Hang on a second. Um, I'll answer that question then. Yeah, yeah. You go first. I'm, yeah, I, I think I might just mute because I'm really trying to pay attention to the race All now. Right. <laughs> All right, we'll do it. I'm sorry, I'm not going to talk too much. Sorry. Okay. Your new host, the USC veteran and Mikhail. Here we go. Chicane is irrelevant in every way. Goodbye. He's out. He's out <laughs> for the rest of time. Yeah, I'll ban myself. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so 
what was oh. uh, was my, what my, what would my GR three card be? Yeah, anything. Like for me, I'll pick the Prius. I will pick. Uh, okay, I would like to see a Honda Integra. Really? The three. Oh yeah, they actually they used to have this. Mainly because I have one in underground. <laughs> Okay. Except it was an RSX, never mind. But I'd like to see an Integra, yeah. But, uh, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see a Chiron as a, a GR3. That would be interesting because we had a good Guardian 2 or 4. GR4, which is kind of good to be. It's heavy, but it's stable. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. I, I'd almost got my first win. When I look at them, when I first looked at it, I was like, wait, is that a thing? A, sh a Faron in good. I know. Uh, I love it, the Faron. It's, it's probably my favourite car of all time. Yeah, it's interesting. For me, I don't. I think the car I threw in Group 4 was mostly the McGann trophy when it came out. Wasn't that OP? It was. And it still could be OP. Yeah, it is good. It's that got like nerfed by a lot. The same with the Group 3 Viper, apparently. It gets mm. nerfed a lot, even yeah. though it's been like, nerfed up to death. The Ford GT got nerfed as well. Yeah. What would your, what would your ideal track be? I know it's like sometimes could be obvious, but okay, I'll pick two tracks because one's too obvious. Either the Daytona Daytona National Speedway or Talladega, because high speed. Just imagine that. Like, just imagine Pierce. Alonso got the lead. Yes, come on. Okay. Come on, pull away, dude. Let's <laughs> let's get it. Come on. I think we're like in. Let's get it. Let's get it, dude. Come on. Yes. Okay. That came My... out of nowhere. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. F one twenty ten song. Okay. I, my ideal track would be. Monica. We gotta fight now. We literally have. We we have the like. I know the Alonso quote. Like we we, we, we can, can fight, fight now. Monaco on PS4 or El Capitan. Yeah, it would be Speaking awesome. Of, good. Long well, Beach. Long Beach. Would be good. I would love to race my own track. Wait, or not my own track, but like my own hometown track, Long Beach. I think Chicken would agree too. You know how expensive go-karting is. I wonder if it's cheaper to quite literally pave your own track and buy go-kart. That'd be interesting. But if you had a big enough garden, you could do it, right? But the noise would get <laughs> You know, I kind of wish it were uh, my r racing evolution right now because I want to see that Audi spin in front of me. What are you, where are you racing? What are you doing? r racing evolution because they have like the thing where it's like so much pressure. That bar pressure thing, and then if it's too full, oh, yes, the yes, car yes, spins yes, out. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want that to happen right now. No, what you mean, Lewis, is why doesn't B Spec have the Valtteri Bottas order? <laughs> Hashtag wingman. <laughs> oh, that was pretty savage when I seen that. <laughs> I felt bad for him. He deserves so many wins. You could just hear the heart, like his heart broken right at that Dude, moment. Dude, he was pissed in the interviews. <laughs> his yeah, face not... was like thunder. I didn't, I feel really bad. Like, I don't really like, feel bad for like Mercedes team a lot. Oh, by no, way. but I feel bad for Bottas. Yeah, oh, by the way, I'm also just gone for the pass. But unfortunately, the Toyota doesn't have a lot of speed, you noticed. Look at that. Mm. Okay, so whatever you guys are saying, I'm going to interrupt you right now. I can't hear you guys, by the way, because I have the headphones off, because I have separate headphones for the TV. Um, the thing is, is I think the Audi is really slow in the corners. But the Audi's going about 150, 160, line. while Alonso's going about 190. So that's where we're going to have to really hope and pray that Alonso nails the corners and somehow blocks the Audi from passing him on the straights. If he does that, he wins the race. How the hell would you block an Audi, though? That's the question. Yeah. That's the problem. Because look at that, you could catch up there, but then you back straight yeah. and you go shoom. That's the issue. Unless the Audi has like some fuel issue. Maybe, maybe his wing falls off. That would funny. It'd, it'd, it'd be there. funny, yeah, but I doubt it. Now, see, look, he's going close to the Audi and then slows down right there. I think Alonso is a mortal. He's going on literally no strength. <laughs> he's probably just dying in the seat right now. <laughs> the Audi. Just imagine him slumbing over. <laughs> Fernando, are you okay? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my. The turtle was just getting closer, and right when it's at the it's my closest, it just slumps out. 10 laps to go. I can't believe I've been here since like lap 30, 40. Fuck yeah. This chat's kept me awake. 
Yeah. Good. We are like two hours. It's basically eight. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, like it's closer than the car. So close. Like, it just slumps it. God, I hate that. Come on. Very go. Yeah, a bit more aggression. Yeah. Pass the mother. I'm, oh. I'm actually invested in this. I like how we're joking about like the first hundred laps, and now we're like on it. I know. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm watching from the Discord thing. So it's up to date. Okay, that's cool. Wait, you can do that? Yeah, he's uh, he. There's, if you look at the Discord, our chat, our, our thing, he's got a live feed going from his end, which is more up to date than the stream. Where can, where can I go? Should I make video? Uh, no, no. Go to our um, our call thingy. Yeah. You'll see it. I'm probably just watching it because I can't read really that that now. <laughs> Come on, get close from eight. Uh, God, it's so close, but so far. Uh, yeah, he's topping out at 204, 205 on the moment. He's joking. Then he gets before, slipstream and he breaks. And before someone makes his out of context and they just put in my moan into like everywhere. Uh, <laughs> God, why is it so. Uh, <laughs> What memes would you like me to make anyway? I know you talked about. No, that. the Zeno, it's not Alonso's fault if he loses the race. It's my fault because I accident. I did you, not. You added that point. Your strategy in the correct or uh, in the correct manner. Uh, well, yeah, I have a lot of memes to go up. I just don't know what like, exactly. Memes and shit. Yeah. Okay. Because my because uh, my source is like a little bit people work for triggered people. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't know what. Maybe once I get into the league races and once I get into like, what track, I just want you to like, put like something for sure. Okay. I'll explain more once we get into like the basics. Let me uh hold on. I don't know if I made any memes. I, I don't think I actually have, but I mean you you're good at Photoshop though, so you should get Yeah yeah, memes aren't hard. It's just white text. There's a bit more to it sometimes. Or maybe add like, you know, picture into like something. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. Cause I, cause I'm actually gonna be doing a racing thing, and apparently I saw one of these um, like pictures of a person trying to kick a like some monster, but got stopped. The context after is like pretty interesting, cause this is from an anime, and this is actually one of the more controversial animes for this season currently like this year, cause a lot of people are like pissed off about it. But um, I want like put a picture of the, like the monster with some like track, I guess, like a map of okay. a track. That's probably gonna kick my ass, so yeah. Mm. Good luck. <laughs> I don't know which one could be. I mean, Fuji, I could do better. I think I tried that. I never was good at Fuji, but I haven't driven it for a long time, so. I, I actually got two wins in Fuji on the day of race C with the group twos. No. I got hit yeah. a few times, but people did just not know how to race because they don't know how to break. Yeah. Especially no. the end of that straight that uh, straight away. Yep. You, you just cannot like, you know. If you don't know how to break, you're just gonna either hit someone or you're just gonna go straight off. I got hit by someone on the first ever um, day race because you don't know how to break. No. By the way, what phone do you have? What happened? What phone do you have? iPhone. Which one? Not the newest one. The second to newest, I guess. So eight? Yeah, quite like that. Okay. First well, I have two. something for you. It's a bit outdated, but it's a LeBron James iPhone wallpaper. <laughs> nice. I know. <laughs> no, I was joking, but I, I, I thought I'd uh, mention it, see what your reaction was. Do you even like LeBron? I don't know, because he's in LA. Alright. Oh. Five laps to go. We have two back markers that, we, that both the Audi and I are dealing with. Okay. If the, the back markers can change the entire race, the Audi's stuck behind a back marker. And oh, who shit. should pass you? Whoa. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm what? Oh. Damn it. <laughs> what are you doing? Overtake. <gasps> oh, it's straight line, yeah. Come on. Yes, push oh my god, yes. No, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck. Why am I what so happened? invested in this? <laughs> what happened? Okay, well, don't. I'm watching on Discord, so it's up to date. Oh, I see. Yeah. The run. Oh, no. The I run. Know. Holy shit. Come on. Dude, there's only four laps. Holy fuck. Oh, come <laughs> on. Slipstream, slipstream, slipstream. 
Jimmy's probably please AI, be... please AI, please AI. Jimmy's okay, probably gonna wait. be very like. Wait. He's probably not even watching right now. Wait, no, the AI. Oh shit, dude. He... Okay, if he gets in your way, that's a problem. Rage is gonna happen. I mean, to be honest, um, TMT has been kicking himself for the last bit. We'll... Okay, good. Go past second place. Okay, we have two back markers right ahead of him. Holy shit! This. I just, oh. I just want, I just want to see the Audi choke like the hell around. <laughs> That'd be great. If he spins up. Yeah, Pascarello's giving us a tow. He's giving us a tow coming into three, so we might, we might still, have, like, uh, we're not giving up yet. Yeah, just keep pushing. The problem is that once you go to straights, those cars are bonkers. Well, the, in the slipstream is okay. Why is the AI, the AI keeps breaking it at such a speed? It's weird. I don't know. I just hope that. Wait, can you check the guy in first place if it is? I oh my god. <gasps> Are you okay? Oh, no, this is so tight. Oh, come on, Alonso. I'm watching the the, the the disco ones. I don't know what you're watching. Are you watching the stream, yeah? Yeah, I'm watching the stream, but it's like 10 yeah. seconds long. Yeah. Oh, they got the slip stream. But you bumped him. Why? Holy shit, two laps, okay. Come on, dude. I want the Audi to do a J to it. Ah, JR Hildebrand. Please, do it. Smack the wall. Why does the AI slow the fuck down? I don't know. It makes no sense. I does want to bump off the rev limit. Come on, push, 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 but don't push him too hard. Wow. One, two more laps to go. Jeez. Oh, there's a back marker. Marker, back marker, back marker. I mean, it's not bad if you got finished like the party with this car. Let's be cool. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? Oh! Come on, Fernando. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why does Audi speed slow you down? I can't grab. Why the fuck does the AI slow down? It's so frustrating. It's Come on. So... Final out, by the way. Fuck. Yeah. God, God he, gets... Oh, he gets so close, but... Shit. <gasps> come on, make a stick, make a stick, make a stick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. No, get back in the slipstream, you dummy. <laughs> Fernando, Fernando, no. Sad base? Uh, almost. Yeah. yeah. Wait, hold on. Wait, there's another corner. Okay. Holy shit. We lost. Uh, well, at least we could have hit it. So. If he didn't fucking hit the brakes all the time. Fuck, yeah, he hits the. Oh. He hits the brakes before he hits the Revlin. It's so dumb. To be honest, you saw that when the Audi flipped the uh, Toyota. That's a team order, so... I mean, I'm to the first place guy. Oh, God. So close. Two and a quarter, three quarter hours. You want to do it again? <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> Good joke, Mikael. Good joke. Yeah, 38,000. <laughs> Good. That's a slap in the face. Beyond the Autobahn. Oh boy. Jamie's so disappointed on you. I doubt he's watching. He's probably gone by now. Rest in peace, Gold. Yeah. Rest in pepperonis, indeed. Beyond the Autobahn. Yeah, these are long. Well, there's only one thing we can do. And that's get the win with the Red Bull. Because this race was so good that... This race was so good, and the commentary was just amazing that I don't want to do another attempt and then leave it all out because the conversations that the UFC veteran and Mikhail and I were having, was it was a lot of fun. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the final lap with the Red Bull now. Okay, three laps to go in this attempt, and I'm leading the race. And check this out. Audi R8 race car. Six laps down. That car is six laps down. So, let me go ahead and make a quick explanation about something. This is actually my third attempt at the Indianapolis 500. 
Second time I'm gonna win the race, and here's why. I actually did the race with the Red Bull X2011 and easily won it. Got the prize car already, which I'll go ahead and edit in my initial reaction to getting the prize car, which, uh, if you guys are paying attention into the previous segments, I had a suspicion that this was the car that I was going to get, and I pretty much confirmed it, so there you go. Two laps to go. Um, yeah, and I decided, you know, like, yes, I put the Red Bull to race while I was at school, and then I just kind of thought to myself, wait, my strategy was actually really good. Or, it wasn't my strategy, it was actually uh, Luis Sinho Gus's strategy with the tires, and thank you to him for that suggestion because it ended up working beautifully here. But then I also made a small adjustment to the transmission itself and shortened the gears. Because as you guys saw, Fernando kept on slamming on the brakes when he went to around 220 miles an hour. And I decided I might as well just make the top speed 220 miles an hour and just get the acceleration increase. So here we are, final lap of the Indianapolis 500 with the Toyota 7. I just spent the last two and a half hours redoing this race by myself, no live stream, no full recording of the race. I just wanted to see if I can do this actual race with the Toyota 7 and see if this potential victory could have been like realistic or unrealistic with this car and we're only half a lap away from winning the Indy 500 with the Toyota 7 and yes this car is actually pretty good. It's actually a good choice to use. Obviously the Can-Am car doesn't hold up that well to the LMP1s when it comes to straightaway speed but in the corners this thing is amazing. And Kobayashi has the wheel here, so he's coming out of the final corner, out of turn four, down the front stretch, and Kamui Kobayashi, Fernando Alonso, Ryan Vargas, and Alexander Rossi win the Indianapolis 500. Six laps ahead of the Audi squad. And there we go. That's the Indianapolis 500. Won and completed. So like I said, this is my third time doing this race, second time winning it. I'm now level 33, which is pretty cool. And uh, Alonso, Kobayashi, Vargas, well not Vargas, Rossi, they level up, which is pretty sweet. So, I already saved the replay from the original race, which is what we're gonna use for the thumbnail. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and edit in my initial reaction, which is why you're gonna see me at a lower level and with less money and with the Red Bull as my current car. We win. Another GT40, okay. See, I knew we... See, this is the one race I knew we were going to win this car at. We already know what the GT40 looks like, so therefore I'm not going to just show off the car in the garage. I'm just going to hit the square button and just show you guys the ticket being opened. That's pretty much it. So next time on Grand Turismo 5 Beast Pack, I think we'll do an extreme event or another endurance. I don't know. It'll be a surprise. Stay tuned.